Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 48th episode of BHSBG Podcast. I'm your host, Educated Cons, and I'm here with my constant co host, Shady Bunny. Shady, how you doing? I'm great, Collins. Well, yeah, good. All right. Decent, I guess. How are You're you? doing decent. All right. Blah, blah, blah. I am. <sighs> it's going to be a lot of sighing this episode. I, I can tell you that already. So, yeah, this is going to be a long one. Probably there's a lot to talk about this week. A lot of big changes. There's a huge patch. And I also have to talk about the qualifier because that was that was like this week as well, too. So. There's actually a lot to talk about this um this particular podcast. So we're uh, I don't want to like dil- dilly dally too long, you know, too much. But uh, yeah, get get strapped in for this one. Hopefully, it's not like crazy. I, I, we'll try to you know sp- kind of speed through the parts that don't matter as much, especially with the patch, right? Because there's so much in the patch, right? We could like go through every armor change but no they're not doing that so no. uh we'll just try to maybe, maybe do some like weird ones and that's it so, uh... yeah yeah something like that uh but we always start with our weekly overview how was your week shady how did how did it go uh, it's okay no no like well i guess the 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 advancements we made in the previous patch don't really matter because right. all of a sudden the game is uh so so just as a heads up it's it's a it's not necessarily like the largest patch in terms of the number of things changed, but it's incredibly impactful things. Therefore, mm-hmm, yeah. the game feels very different. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I guess I shouldn't really focus on what I've learned in the previous patch because a lot of it is obsolete. Dude, dude, what? No, talk about what you, talk about the it's it's literally been like less than a day. Come on, you I know, know you, you can weird, talk right? about the rest of the six days. <laughs> it's fine. They matter. <laughs> They it, mad. It <laughs> Overall, it was fine. It was, you know, some ups, some downs. And, and a lot of it was just felt like I was improving at a steady rate. But those darn opponents, they are also improving. So it's like, aha, I've made some progress. And it's like, ah, other people are making progress. Yeah. And, you know. yeah. I, I, a little I, back and forth. I, I don't, I don't want to, you know, be aware of bad news. But I remember, like, seeing the Wally app right there's like a discord mm-hmm. server and then like every every day i'll show like oh. the grinders you know the the climbers yeah. the unluckiest right i saw one day you were <laughs> in the unluckiest category <laughs> so out of everyone in the server you were like one of the people that lost the yeah, most let's, let's call it unlucky yeah we'll go with unlucky <laughs> No, it was a, I was like oh know, no <laughs> it's one of those it, well for for me it's okay because i've sort of uh, I'm okay with not hitting lobby legends due to it taking enjoyment of my play away. There's a little bit too much pressure. Um, I prefer to just be able to play and learn and share it with my stream. And of course, I'm still, you know, I'd like to win. It's not just gone. So I, I guess that's a change I've made to my mental because that day was particularly rough for me. And it's like, okay, well, I can't really enjoy it properly if I keep that pressure on me. So. Yeah, okay, if I make it, it's great. Um, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm more focused on the learning. So say I'll make some different hero picks, I'll make some different decisions. I may also focus a little bit more on explaining stuff to chat and hanging and talking instead of, shut up, chat, let me think, this is important. Right? So, it's, uh, uh, you know, I guess that's a personal choice. So I guess that's that's been my week. My, um, my you know, talk about swinging, man, it's been like 500 up, 500 down, da 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 So I've been, I've been just... You know, I've been 13k multiple times, and then I've been below 12 and a half multiple times. So it's been some real. Yeah. I've been really like getting up and then down and then up and then down. So very very swingy. Like I surprised myself. I'm just like, how am I at 13k again? It was like 12.4 two days ago. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like why can't I do this every day? <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So that's my week. I know. Lots life. of up and down. Lots of swingy. And overall, just I guess trying to maximize my enjoyment by taking a bit of the pressure off. You know. What about you, Carlos? How was my week? The beginning of the week, right? We had the qualifiers, right? And we won't talk about that. So I had the qualifiers. And then I was like drained after the... I was... Okay. So I didn't even... I thought we were doing the qualifiers over two days. So I was like... I I took like uh, the the Saturday... I mean, I played a little bit on Saturday, but I took like the Sunday the day before off. Like I I played like one game. I was... I, I told myself I won't play a game today. 
and then I played a game. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> couldn't couldn't do it. <laughs> isn't isn't your subconscious be like you're gonna forget how to play the game? You're gonna forget how to play the game if you're like I, I'm gonna take the full day off. Like, I yeah, know. yeah, I I know, right? Like, but I also know that that's not true, right? Yeah. So it's it's kind of weird. Right, because like, if your first game is bad, you're gonna immediately be like, oh, "I should have played a little bit. I should have played a little bit of the rest of the game. <laughs> Not warm nah. enough." The, but I had the confidence being like, "You know what? I've played too much to this month." That's, That's that was my thought. Cause, like, because I, I was, I also played way too much, like leading to qualify. So I was like, "You, know, I, I have too many games. I can take. I cannot play like today." I was like, "I, yeah. I just need to rest, sleep well." You know, do that kind of thing. So, um, I took a lot off, and then I had the qualifiers. And afterwards, I was like, kind of like, in like, okay, I don't have to play <laughs> mode. <laughs> you know, like, oh. uh, so I, I didn't play that much. But uh, leading up to the the patch, I was playing. I didn't know there was gonna be like, um, you know, this patch coming up. Or so it kind of like threw me for a loop, especially with all the changes. But, uh, you know. Patch day was an interesting day. Basically got to, you know, reanalyze everything, right? And, and we're going to talk more about this. I don't feel like going through, you know, going through everything right now, but it's been an impactful week, especially. And, you know, considering my position, you know, it's, it's even more for me. So we'll, we'll see, uh, you know, my thoughts about it overall. But generally, uh, you know, it's a new meta. We'll see how things go moving on we should talk about the qualifier that's right so uh that was this week you know if you <laughs> if you like i was like doing the topics and i was like okay the patch notes are gonna take the whole time then i was like wait a minute i have to talk about this because i remember last uh last podcast we were like oh yeah you know we've got all these good players in the, in the thing i just have to do the best i can but I just have um. We could talk about every single lobby, but I figured that would take two ever forever, and and I wasn't in every lobby, right? So I I would yeah. wouldn't have the right. That's fair. That's fair. Like but angle or discussion, yeah. Sure I, I yeah, yeah. I only have my experience to, um, to talk about. So I just put the the two lobbies that I played in, and just kind of my thoughts for that. So first lobby, um, I got Arana, which was not a hero I play a lot, but I know from playing and watching other people play Arana that, you know, it's pretty good. So I played Arana. Da, da, da. I, I got comfortably, like, top three. I switched into, like, Murloc scam, like, midway. And then my opponent died to, like, a 6%. Like, the person who probably should have won, like, it wasn't, like, guaranteed that I would lose because we had, like, basically the same comp. But he died to a 6%, and I got that first place. In second game, I played, uh, like, a Zephyrus. It, it was probably my best played game of the tournament, uh, I think where I was gonna go eighth normally, but I found a way to salvage that one and 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 make it into a third place. So, I with those two and the books, I I felt pretty confident that as long as I didn't go eighth, I would win. And I had like another the the last game I had, I could have picked Arana again. I actually think that would have been the correct play to just go Arana because like even if people poison you, by the time they have that set up, you would probably like people would be dead, right? So it's almost guaranteed I'd make it if I just picked Arana. But I went for the uh, yeah. I went for the bear off, the bear off high roll. <laughs> uh... And I missed my bets and uh didn't didn't work out for me. But it was still good enough to uh you know get there finish first. So it wasn't too bad um of a tournament. And I was like, okay, we're done for the day. I like turned my stream off. You know, I was like, okay, we're done. Yeah. And there's like a 30 minute delay. Yeah, yeah, so I just I was just like, okay. And then Chad's like, no, 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 you have another three sets. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then and then the, the turn organizer is like, no, stay. You can't leave. <laughs> I was like, can we go now? I was like, they're like, no, you have to stay for the next round. I was like, oh, oh, wait. Oh, I didn't know this. I wasn't like I wasn't mentally prepared to play another set of three games. Um, but, you know, it's not like I can be like, hey, guys, I didn't read the rules. So can you like move everything to tomorrow? Thank you. You know, like it's not gonna work so uh i just and, said yeah this was a set of three games then yeah so yeah. um some of my other opponents got you know in the first round right they got unlucky i definitely saw some of the like at least the twitter posts from some of the competitors afterwards 
And you can just see, like, they were kind of doomed from hero selection. Which, I, you know, I'm not talking about, like, the tournament itself. But that's something I think they should look into. Like, trying to alleviate that um, discrepancy. Because, I mean, I didn't really get, like, top tier heroes. But I can notice, like, if, if you don't get playable heroes right. in this level of competition, you're just screwed. Right? It doesn't matter how good of a play you are. Like people will murder you. Like it's it's not it's not like oh yeah, give me the worst hero here and I'll find a way to top yeah. four. No, you, you won't. You might need that work on ladder. Right? Yeah. You're not making a word versus top tier play. I mean, they're they're about as good as you are. So yeah. I mean, what makes you think you can win with inferior? Yeah, you know, hero. yeah. You're, you're you're not like I don't care who you are. You can't outplay like the hero meta. Like you can't be like oh yeah, I'll just like. Like, I remember it with the Avenge comp. You could play basically any hero, right? Stay on one, yeah. go to four, get a Nest Matron, yeah, them, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And then, and then you could do well, right? Like, that doesn't really work here. Especially with buddies, right? There's, there are just boards you can't create without the buddy uh, or the hero. Like, it's just impossible to create a board that can counteract this thing. Like, Gallywick's double cleave last meta, it's like, okay, you have two 100-100 cleaves, like... What board beats that? Like, and then they have like, and it's it's, they also have the selfless. They also have the Baron. They also have yeah. three of Malkadons or two of Malkadons. Yeah, it's like, what beats that? Like, give me give me a hero that can just be like, you know what? If I'm playing my Toki right, you know, like I'm gonna outplace you. Yeah. No, you're not. At, at that stage, you're. I guess it's like an obscene ticket as high roll, right? Could maybe take it yeah, on. I, yeah. Well, I mean, ticket yeah, yeah, is one of the heroes that that will yeah. can compete, right? Like. But if you, you're, yeah, if you get some, if you get like an Edwin, like you're, you're yeah, what are you doing? Earth, yeah, never yeah. ever. Yeah. And, and that's that's really the issue. So I I just like saw some of the other competitors and they, they had like best hero Rakara twice. It's like I don't know, like you're just dead, right? And and that happened to a couple of people where they just had bad heroes. Like it's not that's not all the competitors. I do think, like, you know. They didn't like play like everyone that made it in right deserves to make it in right in a sense right they did play well right but there was also yeah. some cases where like people just got unlucky and then they there was like ah it's not much I could do here you know and uh, it just sucks right I do want there to be more games but I also know that they were trying to get everything done in one day right I thought they were you see I thought they were moving it to two days so they could do more but. They wanted everything done in one day, and that's why... Because even... We played six games, right? It took, like, six hours, right? So, like, an hour a game. Uh, because you have to wait for people to finish and stuff like that, so... And they had to update the scores every game, every after every game, so it wasn't, like, Q, play, Q, play, Q, play. It took longer than that, so... If, if they made it more games, it would take even longer, and, and then that might be, like, extra day, and then you have to pay, uh, you know, the... All the other people more like you have to pay an extra day right and and it's all that all that nonsense so um i understand it right especially for the first one but i do think it could be improved in terms of like having more games to reduce the variance so that you know you have a better well it's not like a bad group of people made it in but you know <laughs> there, there could be like oh yeah you i'm sure these people deserve to be it because i think if you redo this turn this qualifier again you'll have like maybe five or different diff uh slots change and and that's not like great right so um you know that's that's my opinion but uh first first lobby you know i got had two good starts right so i was pretty happy uh, the third game didn't really matter for me like even if i got eighth i'd probably still make it in like it's that it's it was that like getting first and third is too much of a buffer with only three games um, the second lobby was where I sweated. I started with an eighth and I was just like, I gave up right there. That was, it was over for me. I was like, wow, I threw it. Was, I played the uh, Anixia and I didn't play it well either. And I went for, um, there wasn't a, it wasn't a good five drop lobby and I went for a six and the six was a reroll and I had to reroll. So I spent extra gold and, I, and then I got a Kelly and I had like three dragons it wasn't that great, and I fought a mech comp that like destroyed me. So, um, really, not not a great game for me. I could have maybe went for a four or something like that um, in that spot instead of, of going for the high roll, but uh, just got punished. I also could have played a different hero. I don't think Anixia was the pick there in 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 retrospect. So, there was a lot that could have been different there. But I I was really 
really feeling screwed. Uh, but I just said, I'll play it out. You know, we'll do what we can. Uh, second game, I got a Sorrow Fang, which also made me feel screwed because I'm like, I'm never winning. I right <laughs> with a Sorrow Fang as my hero against these opponents. So I was just like, well, we've basically lost, but put it out, you know, got a third, fourth tie, which is actually honestly pretty good um, there. So got that in. And then um, third game, I got a test. Had a really good turn six or seven where I had my buddy. So it's probably turn seven where I had my buddy. I fought a Gallywix. I tripled into a five. I got the brand. Brand with the Gallywix buddy. Bam, put the put the pump on the galley. Got a huge brand. Used that tempo to level aggressively. Start playing Murlocs. Get, a, get some Amalgadons. Have some Selfless. And try to recover. Unfortunately, there was a Gallywix in the lobby, right? Like, oh. <laughs> like that was the problem. You know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that was the best and the worst news at the same time. Yeah. Like, there's a Gallywix. Oh, wait. There's a Gallywix. There's a Gallywix. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Couldn't Gallywix late game double Hydra Cleave with full golden golden selfless Baron. The Malgadon set up. Like, there's nothing I can do against that. So, I, But I got the second place. And it was, like, barely enough. It was... Barely enough. I, I really thought I was over. I really thought I needed first or I was over. But it was barely enough to edge in the top four. So I was like shocked, first of all, but also like, yes, I yeah, got there. So pretty, pretty happy result. Sad, though, for some of the people that didn't make it in, right? Like I got put in lobbies where I knew a lot of the players, you know, and I'm just like, ah, you know, they didn't make it in. Yeah. But I mean, I knew a lot of the players in every lobby. I I don't think I could have been put in a lobby where I don't know some of, some of the players. So that that that's true. But it still feels somewhat bad to be like, ah, oh, you don't get to make it in, you know. But fortunately, this isn't the only tournament, and there'll be others in the future. So hopefully, you know, things work out for them. But I did make it in. You know, good news. You know, forty eight come in. 12 come out. I was one of the 12. I got there, you know, so pretty happy about that. Uh, the tournament's going to be on April 2nd and 3rd, so it's going to be in a couple of weeks, two weeks or so, so we'll see what we could do. Um, but the the tournament, you know, the the meta has changed, but in, speaking of the qualified, right, we ha do have the qualified players. Also put the ones that qualified from China. I was a little bit sad not to see Island Cat in there you know I th <laughs> but you know it's 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 generally fine right we'll see how how they do but um at first um i was being told that i was the only person that qualified from the u.s which kind of scared me i did not want to be the only person but apparently kurt is also from the u.s so i have a friend uh technically they're all my friends but you know i, you know, I have a like u.s representative here too but a lot of the people that qualified through the NA server are actually from Japan. So um, there's a lot of Japan representation here. A couple from Germany, a couple from Russia. And, you know, the Canadian. We got Canadian in here too. So, you know, we got, the, got a wide range in Brazil. Of course, can't, can't be remiss to include that. So quite a, quite a lot of people. Though the most that qualified, though, was from the NA server. So NA strongest region, yeah, you know. There's an argument to be made now for all you people that care about that. I I don't agree with the point. I think all the regions are pretty good. But, you know, we've got some evidence if you want to go that direction. But still, you, st you still have to see the um the final tournament, right, if you really want to. This is where I talk about the players being imported then, right? Or is that usually how it goes? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the players being imported? I don't know. Like, you're being like, you're being like, oh, well. And hey, so many got through, but they're from Japan, you know. Well, so. they still they still have to play through the region, you know. Like they're they're still fighting. We're still fighting against those players, uh, regardless, right? So uh, even if they are playing through their server, right? They're still, you know, it still counts. It still counts, shitty, you know. It's like that's all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't give me that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. It, the, the evidence is there that's all that's all but um overall it should be an interesting tournament uh i was more ready for it until this patch now i'm less ready for it but i do have two weeks 
But I, I, you know, hopefully things change before the tournament happens. But uh, we do have a new patch to talk about, and, and um, I will be, we will be discussing a lot of the changes there, and I do think they're quite important. Um, but that's uh, the qualifiers happen this over this week, and I made it in. You know, that's the important news. I think that a lot of people that listen to this podcast care about. So. Yeah, defending the honor of the podcast. That's awesome. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is the best high quality podcast on the market. <laughs> of course. I mean, that's that goes without saying. I don't even think <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessary, but it's still nice. You know, it's sure. not necessary, but it's still nice. All right. Um, moving on, we will go to patch patch twenty two point six. It is the patch of the expansion came out yesterday. Um, so it's the new expansion voyage of the sunken city. Really cool. Um, exp- expansion video. Like if you, if you ever seen it, it's pretty, it's pretty bumping, I would say. So, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be sad to encourage you guys to watch that one, but but that's, you know, for a battlegrounds split, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, a lot of the expansion cards, like, it doesn't affect you too much. The, the stuff for battlegrounds that matters. System updates. So, the battlegrounds armor system is back. Now that we had some time with our buddies, we assess how buddies and armors will re- interact, and we think it's a good time for armor to return. Now, with, do I agree with this statement? Do, do we think it's a good time for armor to return? Honestly, sure. I, I don't know. I don't know yet, right? Like... But I don't think it's a horrible time, right? Because like I'm looking at this, everything that changes, I'm looking at it from a, the perspective of there's a tournament in two weeks, right? Like, and I'm thinking, do I want to add armor for the tournament? Like, is that is that a good thing? And I'm thinking, I guess it's not crazy, right? Like, this isn't this isn't a crazy thing to do two weeks before a, an official BG tournament, but it is a big change. But yeah, we'll see. So. Taking a look at some of it, right? I, I already went through the patch yesterday, so I kind of have more of a like opinion on some of these changes. But we'll we'll start with the tier zero changes. One thing I do want to mention is that it it seems that they're looking, they're making these changes from the perspective of an average player, or like or, or maybe a slightly above average player, but not like the top one percent. You know, like they're not looking at my data to make these changes and yeah. stuff like that. Um, and and also I think in function of the patch, where some some things don't really make sense based on the changes that were made in the patch. Right? Like Bran, for instance, they've removed Tide Hunter, which makes right. Bran just way worse. But Bran is still a tier one, so right. Bran not having any armor makes absolutely no sense if you're going to kill off Tide Hunter because that's part of the reason why Bran is so good. Yeah. You can farm triples on turn on tier one. So, but that's okay, right? That's that that's you know that's I guess that's something the way how they or part of the way how they change things and they wait for the data the data is in okay now we're gonna change based on the data but it's yeah. like well you've also changed the game yeah, so yeah. yeah you're gonna need, it, to, that, you're gonna that need is, some more data that is a really good point it does feel like they did the armor first then they made the changes right like that's true <laughs> that's, that's it, true. I, I think it's I think it's not even that I think it's just like this is the data. <laughs> and we change based on the data. But of course, they didn't have any data from the new patch yet because, you know, everything came at once. So it's like they, they don't know which hero is going to do better with friend of a friend and blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't want to run ahead. But this this is part of it. If you're going to introduce armor, but at the same time have a giant patch or at least a, a, a patch with an enormous impact because there's a few changes that, that completely change the game, it's really hard to use data from the previous patch and then accurately predict whether your armor is going to make sense because there's a couple of things that make absolutely no sense at all and we're going to see <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll point out uh, the one i think is going to be the one that you can abuse the most for for our listeners but you go ahead and, and tell you say your thoughts on on some of these yeah so zero armor right afk all, all of this stuff like first of all i don't think they're that strong right now like shamvala i do agree you know brand without murloc uh, Tidehunter, this feels weird. Elise also feels weird to be a zero. Like, I don't think she was like oppressive. I do think all of you think Elise was kind of oppressive. I okay? played a god man, some games versus Elise were very like basically. If Elise wasn't getting 
completely destroyed on nine gold, she could go to five. And if okay. she'd go to five, yeah. she'd go to six. Or she'd yeah, go to six I, I, I guess that's my... Like in NA, you know, people destroy you. That's the problem, you know. Yeah. That's why I didn't like Silas early too. Because like I just right. play Silas, they just destroy me. And I don't have that power. That's that's what I was having with Elise. But I do think if you if you can like get a slower, you can fight like the right opponent, right? Then you get that if you can keep the Elise buddy, because it is a four four, which like I don't understand why it's the Elise buddy is so weak compared to Well, I think right now, like she's I, I don't I think the previous version, yes. This version, I wouldn't want to make it stronger because it, it just like she snowballs really really hard i i think this meta at least is going to be better i do agree like yeah. if, if you can target or discover a hero of your tavern tier i think this is a meta where that's very abusable like the the yeah, heroes i can sure. do that's very abusable so i do you think just, it's... you you can the, just just the power spike of on what is it on nine gold that's turn seven you're gonna go to five which means on turn eight you're gonna go to six you're going to discover a six drop and play it. Then on turn nine, you already have a map at the start of your turn with another six drop. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can just have your two Callies already at that uh, point. Yeah. It, it can get very gross. Yeah. Callie, right. Exactly. That's what we're looking for. I, I agree with your shady well, Callie. No, I, I do think it's a Cal. I think you can do well with Callie in the meta. Like, yeah, I just yeah, think it's sure. a greedier meta, right? It's a greedier. You can, you can add the bullshit later on. You first need to build a little bit of a foundation, you know? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> any hero that has like a, a function or like a clear direction, I don't mind them being zero. So Flurgo, Jaraxxus, uh, Patches, right? Where this is, this is more average players do better if you just force the, like force pirates, force murlocs, right? Force demons, they'll do better. Uh, I don't think like high elo, like these are like tier zero heroes, right? Like I, I don't agree, but I mean, but for now, I mean, I, I get why they do that, right? They do have to balance for that. The rest of these are okay. What does jump out? I don't think Anixia, but I'm biased, right? Because I lost a tournament with Anixia, so I'm, I'm <laughs> horrible. I'm str yeah, I'm straight biased. You know, that's that's how it works for me. I I keep my biases. Tamsin as well. Yeah. I don't Tam understand. I, I actually asked my chat if they were joking because I, I didn't see this the first time around. And they told me that Tamsin was uh, tier one. I was like, no, you can't be serious. I was like, who's winning with Tamsin? Who the hell is winning with Tamsin? Like, There's no one in my lobby. I never see your Yeah. Players, yeah. <laughs> Once again, this has to be like average players do okay with Tamsin or something. Because mm -hmm. if that's not the case, I don't understand it all. But it's it like, has. It has to be that that's that's what's it's just going like on. one dev is like, no, people just don't understand. Trust me, we can't give her armor. It's too dude, strong. Dude, I've heard that I've heard that before. Like, you yeah. know, in other so that actually could be the the rationale. Like, no, I'm dying on this hill. Tamsin is broken. These guys don't know how to play it. And hey, who knows? Maybe they're right, you know. <laughs> I don't play her, so I don't know, but I I don't want to take the chance to, you know. Lose a bunch of Elo to lose. I don't think they're you know, I honestly I don't I don't think so, because like they definitely play different, right? Like the high row with Tamsin can't compete the high row with some of the other heroes. That's that's the thing you have to com uh, Yeah. That's, that's the that's thing you have like to realize. Like once you get to high elo, people high roll. Like they know how to do it. So what if you high row a Tamsin, it doesn't matter. Like giving like fifty health stats to something, like just it's useless. <laughs> Cause you people just poison kill you with like four Malgadons. Like who cares that you have five health or 500 like it doesn't matter so i, I it's, it's not a it's not an end game that really contests uh yes it's an easier way to print stats right I mean, yes not that, that's what i'm saying like uh, average yeah. players right maybe tamsin is like oh my god this is oppressive and, and that might the be the thing, case like, you see this sometimes like i don't know how often you you browse reddit if at all but you see these boards with like quillboard all the time when you see like yeah nice little cool board win it's like how do you not just die to two divine shield and algodons like i don't understand it's like you have like this 300 health duo and i was like that's useless Come, that does nothing it's like you know, first place you know? the, the twitch so, community yeah. and the reddit community are very different in terms of like you know skill level <laughs> you know so good, good for you guys uh on on twitch yeah. was glad to have you here but yeah i don't yeah. i don't see it um it's um well, Even, whatever, but I guess that's the point, right? It's like stats, stats probably matter more at lower MMR. Yeah, right? for sure. You don't have that, you know, like, and, and now we're talking a little bit previous patch, of course, because it's like poison isn't as common right now, but that's, that's just the autopilot. We're like, oh, my board isn't 
200, 200 Divine Shield, Wind Fury Elementals, I guess I better make some poison. Right? You right. just be like, ooh, seven, nice, have an Acolyte and get that going. Ooh, max stack and maybe yeah. get a Reborn. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So you're, you, you, your autopilot maneuvers towards that, whereas on lower MMR, it's probably a little bit more like, oh, I'm still going to scale with my Light Fang. Yeah, right? sure. so, yeah. But anyway. for, for this one, that th those are the ones that stick out to me. The rest of them are like, whatever. <laughs> I don't have any. Do you have anything to add on this? Uh, no big gripes with tier one other than <clears throat> the brand that really sticks out like a sore thumb or like, hey, we removed the reason why brand is pretty good. Still and and Tamsin, right? Like, Tamsin. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that's honestly more a meme for me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's because you're not playing the hero. So you're like, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I want to pick brand with like 10 armor or whatever, which would be too much. Right? No, I, don't mean, do like, I like playing brand. OK, give him 10 armor. You you destroyed my boy. Dude. I can't pick him anymore. I don't Brand was there. honestly one of my best heroes. Like, so I. I yeah. So I, 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 you know, that 10 armor. Come on. Like, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but okay, so two to five armor, you, maybe three to remove, six. You do remove Tide Hunter, right? So yeah. not only is that a token gone, it's also a battle cry. Yeah, gone. the the battle cry on on one. That's that's the real punish. Yeah. Yeah. It's a huge deal, and and it's it's the best battle cry in the game for a brand on you know like on one. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah on, because it just it's a Murloc that gives you triples. It, it could it could discover you the amount of times where I pulled like. Primal fin with a uh, golden hate it. Token. Don't like, don't oh, tell him. Don't like, talk about that. You get like two small fins. Like oh, oh my god! <laughs> like, I win the game. You just go straight to six. Yeah, but I mean, you do win the game, so maybe that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I I love playing Brand. I, I feel like Brand was like severely underplayed for a long time, and then people started catching on. Not for me, right? Like I guess us two were like Brand is. Oh, how can you not like Brand? Like you know, like you if, when if, was if, even like, yeah, you get a free right. Brand. I know, right? Even when like people were like, "Oh, Brand's pretty bad right now," I'm like, "What are you talking about? Like, Brand is so good." And now, slowly, slowly, they're like, "Oh wait, Brand's pretty good." And now it's that's like, good to be right about that, right? Because the, the stats were like, "Brand is bad." It's like, no, no, the stats are wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, wrong. like Brand were like yeah, last Brand, place. Brand, we were yeah. like, "Nah, it's it's good." <laughs> it's like that's validated. Nice. Okay. Anyways, let's go to tier two. Yeah. All right, tier two. We've got Ooh. some interesting things. I like Kira's fine, Alistraza fine. Cthulhu I don't like, but I, you know, I don't play him either, yeah, so I don't care. Not too Nothing, sure, sure, sure. sure. KT yeah, I don't like, but I don't care. Maya fine, Millhouse. I could see Millhouse being at zero zero armor to yeah, sure. yeah. Me too. Unit's fine, the storm of fine, sort of fine, sure. Scabs is the question. I remember when I was doing the review. This was the one that oh, Scabs and Finley. These are it's Finley for sure should yeah. not have armor. I don't understand no. this one. This this is wrong. Oh, and Ticketus. And why does Ticketus have armor? And Zephyrus too. But Zephyrus I can kind of see because it's... Zephyrus really, I can kind yeah, of I can kind of see it. Yeah, yeah. Zephyrus just takes it and takes it and takes He's always like, you're you're just, you're in a nosedive, right? I was like, eh, go to Mama Bear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's true. Um, That's how it feels uh, when uh, but yeah, Finley, Finley Ticketus, that seems very wrong. Like, Ticketus, late game is too strong, right? And then you're giving him armor to make it there. Like, it doesn't it doesn't make sense on how you balance the hero, right? It's like giving Gallywix armor. Because you're like, Gallywix loses early. Let's give... Wait, Gallywix has zero armor, right? Okay, good. <laughs> just check it. <laughs> because last last time Gallywix had armor, and I was just like, no. Snake yeah, but I don't yeah, care. I don't care how much armor it gave you. Like, yeah, that's a lot, man. yeah, that's a lot yeah. Me. So, so I was just like checking, but yeah, Ticketus is this, is it's very similar to Gallywix, where it's like if you get the late game, it's rusted. So why are you giving it the ability Ooh, to get the late I'm, game? I'm, I don't really want. I I don't mind putting them on tier one ticket us, but I wouldn't say, oh, it's the same as Galley, because you can just not, yeah, right? I like, know, you I know. need I, the brand. Okay, the, the thing is, I played Galley. I mean, I played ticket us after, like, that was my first game, and it was so easy. I was like, oh, the armor, I had five armor. It was so easy, yeah, I just yeah, made yeah. a late game, I won. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I didn't I, have I to play. And, and another thing, you can still get, like, multiple ice blocks. Like, I don't, why yeah. is that not removed in some coding way where if you have an ice block you can't like get the ice block uh they, they, proc. i think they said you can maximum get like up to one more right you can you can get one ice block extra so you have your normal ice block and then you can get up to one extra it's that's still that. unfair 
I don't yes, no, yes, I, I don't I, like I, why I would you do that? Yeah. Game is bullshit. yeah, it's cause like you're so safe. Right, like, and, and you're getting it above 15 health, and it's like, oh yeah, okay, well, I don't have to do anything, yeah. and I just do nothing, and then I do nothing, and it's like, it's, it's just win. A, a game where the margins are so small, having a guaranteed you're not going to die until this thing is gone, that's it's incredibly broken. Yeah, I don't, I don't The, the like amount it. of, just, just the sheer thing that we can say, like, I'm never ever selling my brand here, right? Just yeah. just knowing well, that. Just well, being why are you selling that, your right? brand? Like yeah, that's the real no, thing. dude. I've, You've I've put yourself in a position today. where you have to sell your brand. Oops, no, dude, dude. I was I, watching I, you I, earlier. You skipped a brand, and I was so I was like, that is wrong. <laughs> I saw you skip a brand. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, uh, depends uh, what game I was playing. I, yeah, I, I, you were I, playing like scam, uh, scam uh, with the, with the big wrath weaver. And you were like, no, oh, I don't yeah, want the... I know, I know, but no, I disagree no. with it. <laughs> not in that but, spot. I, 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 I agree. You put yourself in a position where you... The brand is questionable. But I say don't put yourself in a position where the brand is questionable. That's my stance on that one. Not all of us have that innate, like, oh, a new patch drops. Oh, well, I'm going to put myself in a great position. <laughs> good, no well, yeah, well you, that's the skill set to learn, you shady. So, we you can, know, whatever. <laughs> I, I feel like that's more innate, uh, and that's just also how you function as a player. But if you want to talk that game in particular, like I don't, that's just, <laughs> that's, that's just me adjusting to the to the lack of poison, right? I agree. Like that, that works. Yeah, you're if they're maxed. Up. You're slowly learning. Why I'm like, well, I know the broken stuff now. Now they abuse it. You know, I, it, I've played like what four hours. <laughs> that's like I've already figured out. All right, let's. But I don't like it though. But you know, it, it is how to do things, right? I guess. Um, but overall, scabs weird. Finley, this this doesn't make sense to me. And then take this. Those are the three that jump out to me. What about you? Uh, I mean, yeah. There's just some weird ones, right? Cthulhu and Kale, like we we covered them. Uh, I think scabs, right? Scabs having armor is a little silly. I mean, we'll talk. I I know why, right? We know why, right? They look at their data, and they're like, yeah. "Ooh, scabs loses," you know? Yeah, but I mean, we we don't owe the data anything. I know. I and yeah, <laughs> I know, but we cover this, you, and I feel like you, most of the people that listen are quite a bit above average at Mamar, right? Yeah, so. yeah, I know. But we, it, it it feels like they're relying on the data instead of using the data as a jumping off point. You know what I mean? Where a lot of people, you know, they'll look at the data and be like, "Okay." This makes sense, but now how do we adjust based on the data? It kind of feels like okay, the data has told us this is the what we're doing here. Oh, Scabs dies a lot, you know. Scabs really bad. Shadowwalk dies a lot. Sarge Shred is really bad. Let's you know balance because the data says on average people die with this hero, you know. Where like you you look at the you know the high rated players and they're just like oh Scabs is great. I always love Scabs. You know? Oh yeah, Shadowwalk. Yeah, you just. Buy tokens, go go to four or five, get get your six or five fours or whatever, and you win. You know, but people don't do that on average, right? But then because people don't do that on average, you have these cases where Shutterwalk has like so much armor, you know, and then you're like, well, this doesn't make sense because you know both tokens are in. Here you go, Shutterwalk, blah blah blah, and you pop off, and it's just like, well, now I have like extra seven armor, so I don't have to care about taking damage early so this is even more consistent of a game plan but then the people that don't do that are just like losing horribly because they still don't know, you know like it doesn't matter if you give them armor they still don't know how to win with the hero but because there are people that do win it, it balances out the, the thing and makes it look like oh now it's an average hero because people sometimes people win but then the people sometimes people die but if you look at it closer it's more of a of a you just don't know what you're doing with the hero case and more than the oh the hero's bad I don't know. It's hard. It's hard unless you like talk to the developers and how they. Really yeah, I mean, everything. once again, for clarification, we don't necessarily say that it's wrong, right? We just say like, if you are playing at a higher level, these don't make sense. At least you know for now with the information that we have. Yes, they they do not make sense to us. You know, it's for so yeah. to me, I think it's wrong. But they, you know, they, they I understand the it. Big picture, right? Yeah. Where yeah. it might make the experience at lower mmr are very frustrating if they have a hero that does well the whole time like like i think one of the best examples is like uh, like one of my um 
brothers in law was like very, very, very casual. Like at some point I talked to him, I was like, Oh man, this fucking cat just steals all your best <laughs> cards and like she always wins the lobby. And it's just like, Yeah, okay, well, that gives you an, an insight right there. It's like it's like they gave cat armor, I can't believe it. It's stuff like that. Right? So, <laughs> right? so it's that, that happens, right? So you know that that's the other side, and there's way more of those players than there is of us, right? So yeah. at some point they, they have to make a choice who they're gonna balance for. But yeah, I, I obviously my my preference is the game being balanced around the highest level, and then just you can see on streams why it needs to be that way, and then you can try to emulate that. Um, but that doesn't mean that that's the way how it has to be. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It'd be it, nicer. It'd be more fun for us for sure. If yeah. uh, the game is just balanced around us, <laughs> all right, let's get whatever. Three. All right, moving down tier three. It's just there's a lot less once you go down. So yeah, um, out of this, the one that jumps out to me is the Rakara. Like, why is oh. this here? This should be higher. This needs more armor, right? Like, I don't know about you. I was getting three to six is uh, quite quite nasty, but we'll have to see how well Silas does in the new meta. I've had like a really good game on him and then like a bad game so we'll see yeah i i'm like i'm still not super sold on silas personally um i do think like the window to get punished is high also it kind of baits you into like like you know it's like staying on four or like trying to cycle for this particular hero in uh, this particular i game. i think my, my gamer did really well i just kind of went straight five i just started yeah. pulling fives yeah. and, and i think maybe that's pop, what you pop. need to do um there but then like the other game i did the same thing and i went 25 minions with no ticket on five and i was like oh okay yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that's Silas, right? <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't know that could happen. It's like five straight shops, nothing. Like, interesting. Uh, like I, I wonder what the code is to like, because sometimes you have these like full ticket shops. Well, yeah, right? I, I don't know. Yeah, the code must be weird. I agree Sweet. with you. It's like you're must be going weird. 25 minions, no ticket. Well, whatever, I can complain about getting unlucky. Every time. <laughs> I got unlucky. I can't believe it. You know? How am I supposed to climb? I'm getting unlucky. But, but that does mean all my opponents are getting lucky. I'm sure of it. That yeah. does happen more often than you would think mathematically possible, if that makes sense, right? Like where, you know, the chance to get no ticket on the shop is like, you know, maybe like. If if there's like a what a, a thirty or forty percent chance to get a ticket, right? Like you know, the, the chance you roll five minions no ticket is like yeah pretty low. Fire, you, like, yeah. I I, gen I generally thought it was bugged. I was like, what? They're not showing? Is it visually like <laughs> chat help? Uh, I, I'm sure there's a code that like messes things up at, in some cases. You know. I don't know. Uh, but so, yeah, Silas not reliable. You heard it here first, guys. Bugged <laughs> no tickets sometimes. <laughs> I do think it's one of the heroes that could win a lobby. So that that's oh, yeah. and and that's that makes it inherently good, you know. Like it has a you have a chance to win a lobby, where there's like at least for me, like if you're playing a tournament, like oh I need to win the lobby. Oh Silas is the pick, right? Because the other heroes can't give me the opportunity as easily. Yep. Yeah. And then the Rakara one seems weird to me. I think it's weaker than yeah, tier three. So I mean, especially in you know the short amount of time we've had in this meta yeah, especially this out. meta yeah it's even you don't worse. want to be playing a real car yeah, it's right? even worse <laughs> i'm <laughs> gaining plus one attack on all my minions <laughs> it's like some guy rolls by with seven amalgadons is just like spamming friend of a friend being like that's cute that's real cute take 25. Yeah. Re reform i'm biased but I'm, i i could see this as being too high but i'm biased so i'm not gonna complain but I think he feels really good in this meta. Yeah, well, he like, felt hey. good before. I, nah, nah, you see, yeah, see, it's just like Yogg for me, for me. Right? I'm just like Rafan was amazing, and, and, and everyone's like, nah, Rafan was whatever. And I'm just like, you guys just don't know. And now it's even better for me because like you guys are like, oh, you know, now I know what to do. And like, well, I've been knowing well, what to do. I, for I'll a get time. behind it here just due to the. Uh... The it feels like it's a bit greedier, and Rafan is amazing at producing six drops, right? So. Sure. All right. But any anything else jumping out to you? No. 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 Just Silas being potentially a little, and that's that's I'm not even sure, but potentially a bit too much harm. Right. Tier right, tier four for me. Nothing really jumps out except for Reno, but I'm biased. I don't like Reno. I don't like. Oh, but I. Uh, but other than sure, that, like, I had a I had a fun Reno game today where I just. Uh, <laughs> 
I, I had the golden buddy and I just golden uh, reborn Goldrin in the back. <laughs> I was just like, golden Goldrin. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, it's. I, I don't think Reno, at least in the previous patch, right? Reno was just not on the radar and not a problem, not that strong. And I think that, you know, maybe the way how the meta works right now, like getting a golden witch or something, a golden uh, Nestwing matron, like that's probably going to be a lot better in this meta. Yeah, that's so. probably true. Like, but the problem is you can't roll acolytes on one anymore. We'll talk about that later. That's so. true. That's also that, true. That's, I, I warrior curved a bit. The warrior curve just did not feel that good. Like no acolytes, no tight entries. So. We'll, we'll see. Maybe just a lot less warrior curve, which means it's harder to farm those triples, and that obviously makes Reno a lot worse as well. Yeah, so, yeah, no, nothing too much there. It's like, yeah, these are heroes. They're not OP. You know, nothing jumps out here. Yeah. Now, here's where things start jumping out for me. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, man, so I actually think going in this meta is going to be a lot better. So this armor, like, might be helping going a lot but yeah. i i think like they're balancing for last patch but then they don't realize oh wait this is now playable but I, this yeah. is this is a guess i'm not 100 percent sure but i do think this is going to be like no i, I think it's a very very safe assumption to make that a lot of the placements are just like well this is how well the heroes performed and we're not going to look at all the changes we're making and then assume that oh because this card goes i mean i think the brand is the easiest one right yeah like, I, I think it's I hard think to us to like to be like oh yeah this is the hero that's gonna be like oh i, I like weirdly better <laughs> i think that's, that's it's too hard unless you're yeah. unless you're you you're us awesome, and you play all day you understand like the intricacies of some of these changes but like yeah, it's 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 gonna be hard to just like, oh yeah, look at these eighty heroes. Yeah, that's the one. That's the that's let's, the one that's gonna jump. Let's get to the <laughs> egregious one. Here, yeah, they, which, okay. Which sure. is the one here that doesn't belong? In this the, the one that does card. not belong. Which you know, even questionably moving it from tier three to tier two was also like, eh, you know, I was very yeah. scared. But now you like you stack on eight armor onto this hero test. What? This, this, is not, this is not okay. This doesn't make Absolutely. sense to me. I, 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 I was looking at this and I'm just like, how is this okay? How did this? Like, I don't, I don't get it. But I, 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 I've been saying that a lot. Like eight arms. Yes. It's crazy. Like some could argue this is better than scabs. Like you know, like uh, like maybe oh, if you look at the that's five to eight armor, it is better. Well, than well, I mean, I'm saying before the armor, like right, addition, right, right. you could even argue that this test has more of a upside where you can just like still hold comps and like you get the earlier, that's right? True, you yeah. get the like, um, scabs is not as committed, and the hero power helps sure. him out more early, sure, right? Because sure. with test, it's always like, oh, I gotta sell the celly and then hero power and then freeze and then do the thing and that. But test does get the bigger payouts, right? If yeah. she if she finds the jackpot, she gets everything. Whereas, you know, the scabs is like, I hope I get to steal one of the. Yeah, I hope I get to steal it. Yeah, so it's crazy. Like, to, and, yeah. and to give her this armor is like, it's insane. I, I think it's, I think it's easy again to see where test is incredibly difficult to optimize. Yeah, it's a hard hero to play. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah, and and because it's a hard hero to play, its stats aren't that great. But the the high level players that can play test well, it's like, what are you doing? Absolutely, man. Especially in this meta where we're gonna see yeah, some for sure. We're gonna see a little bit more of a truce. It feels in the mid game where everyone's trying to set up their bullshit, so she gets a little bit more of a pass, and then you know all hell breaks loose and she's completely in her element she's grabbing everything from everyone and she's going nuts yeah, so if she has a good early game then which she has most of the time yeah because of, because of the star. buddy yeah so it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy where it's like well tess needs a good early game are we gonna give her two stars hey she needs get, now gets a good early game she doesn't take too much damage she gets to survive she gets to, yeah and like the, the fact that she, yeah. she routinely gets the buddy of the person she's robbing before the person gets it. Yeah, I, 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 dude, thing. I steal the gallery. I played test in the tournament. I stole yeah. the gallery before the gallery had a chance to counter yeah. me, and it's just like the gallery looking at me, ready to emote. Like, oh, I can't believe it's, this. And it's not <laughs> even you know with, when it comes to four star buddies, it's not even the turn they get it. It's the turn before they get it. Right? You have a full turn head start on them. That's yeah. It's quite silly. And, and um, like uh, like they made stealing better, right? Because they introduced a hero that has a really good buddy to steal as well. Yeah. Right? So that's another. Yes. That's that, like oh that's a huge you change, a, but you don't you like put that into the calculations. But yeah, it's it's crazy. 
Um, Both scabs and Tess really like the new hair. Yeah, I really like the new hair, exactly. It's, I don't know, like this. What is this? Uh, anyways, let's move on. But this is wrong. So that's that's my that's one of my two. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I too agree. I don't, yeah, that's one of them too. Yeah. I'm uh, moving on for six armor. So they put this here, and basically what that tells me is they think the hero is bad. That's how I look at it when they do this. Yeah. They're like, oh, okay, it's six and nine armor. They can't put it at the worst because that's like saying we've messed up. Like, ah, oh, this is unplayable. Garbage, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but well, it could also be you know, Phelan skips his first turn. Right, so they might be like, okay, where's AFK? Where's bad, AFK, anyway. Shady? Where's AFK? Well, the stats, where, no, the stats where, where is it? No, don't give me that argument. <laughs> where is AFK? No, 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 He's at zero I, armor. Zero armor. I, I don't buy that I at saw, all. I don't. I don't buy I it saw, at all. <laughs> I saw on Twitter that she was, I think she was fourth best overall, which is kind of crazy to me, right? So, like, so maybe skipping the first turn isn't that important. That's not a reason to make it six well, to they, nine they armor. Already have the data on that, yeah, and, and then the, I think now the, the, in, in return AFK starts tanking again, and they can give her armor. But they the, first need to let the stats. I'm just saying, due to that, your own argument doesn't even make sense to me because, like, AFK skips two turns, you know, they, you know, and and it, they still have zero armor. So that's not really much of a as long as you're. Your ability makes up for it, right? And I would say his ability makes up for it. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't buy. So, like, I do think they just they thought this hero is bad. I actually don't think this hero is bad, right? Like, we're gonna talk about the hero more, right? Once we go into its own baby, but I don't think it needs. I don't think it needs six to nine armor. This seems like a little too much for it, in my opinion. Especially with 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 all the changes you make and how strong tier six is and what this hero and the buddy allows you to do, like. This could have like no armor. It'd probably be fine in my opinion. Like it's actually quite playable. Um, Toki, I don't think is that good. Bigglesworth with six to nine is like, you know, like eh, you know, especially in this meta it's where, literally. yeah, yeah, where especially in this meta is like, eh, you know, you're just stealing a Magadon. It's like, <laughs> you hope for some spawns, bunker yeah. down, and then you. Yeah, Vander, I also think is like underrated right like especially with the removal of my ex now i do think this might be a secretly playable well yeah, maybe not secretly for you but, yeah, but I, I, yeah. I do think that's playable pyramid i don't play so i don't really i can't really talk about on, it but. on the other hand the, the thing with vander is that slower buildup of stats doesn't matter anymore completely I, blown I, I, I see what you're saying because yeah. because because the problem is that I, you just have it so often we're like sweet no poison lobby oh amalgadons oh they had a yeah brand. yeah they they're yeah. all perfect they got poison yeah they still yeah. so, amalgadon yeah. kind of counters like everything unfortunately that's, that's that's sort of the issue where if if the game is more just about the mid game and scrapping if you get some high health tricksters and you win your mid game like you can really do well but if if people are skipping that mid game scrap a little bit more to go straight for the super high end stuff, your trickster build does get smashed. Doesn't really matter how yeah. you know how well developed it is because you do just get hit with amalgadons. Oh. So that's that's the thing where I'd have to play it a bit more. I'll definitely try it. I'll definitely experiment more with it. But that's the fear I have. Where yes, you might be able to set it up a little bit better, but you'll probably just get blown out by people going for a friend of a friend. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And then um, moving on, last last but not least, this is where the second egregious one is. Sneed, why does Sneed have ten armor, zero armor? <laughs> right, this card does not. This hero does not is not allowed to play the game. Deleted from the game. Like, Are they kidding me, man? Yeah. Yeah, but it, yeah, sneeze is like not really playable, which I'm happy. I don't want it playable. But then again, there's too many more heroes who I'm more. I have more. I've. I have. There are more heroes I have more of a problem now than Sneed. Like Sneed used to be like, ah, this is the hero. Now I'm just like, nah, I don't even care about this issue now. It's the, it's Arana with ten. Like this doesn't make sense to me. Like I don't under like the stats. I don't feel like the stats justify this decision either. That's what that's what confuses me here. I, I don't know what their stats are, but I, it's it's what I said the moment I saw this. I said, oh, in no Murloc lobbies, Arana is straight S tier now. Yeah, yeah, for straight, sure. Straight yeah, straight I, but there, there are, I mean, there were lobbies last patch where I would say she was S tier. Yeah, I won no a tournament with an Arana. Yeah. I won a yeah, game. No Murloc, no beast. Like that, there were, there sure. were Murlocs in, and I won that lobby. 
Hey, dude, like yeah, okay, that's that's, 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 cr- that's a bit more of an outlier. It's a, it, is, it is 100% you, you an outlier, but it is possible. But it, the, is an outlier, right? the, the fact that it is possible blows my mind is the is my statement it's like possible with almost anything as long as you roll well enough no nah, now it now we're varden <laughs> no. right, i mean if everything you hit nah, get tra- now like we're varden shady yeah you get like four sallies early double nest nature and you're gone right so shit. i mean it's possible with anything but yes obviously i'm not going to compare varden to an arana i think arana is phenomenal but yeah, I, I think that Arana is extremely good at getting second places. And I yeah. think in this meta, yeah, you're no. going to be taking first places quite often just due to how the... Um, there's there's no random reborn max not screwing you up. No. And if you are a really good Arana player, you you will know when to prepare to Golden Selfless. You will know when to tier to four to try to triple into the Baron, to try to triple into the Spore. You will know to have the right units at the right time where you have your two unkillable... Molten rocks, and then you'll probably have sold out of your um, party elementals one by one, out of your you know your buddy, etc., to slowly transition into your uh, selfless uh, spore, gold, baron, and then whatever you have there, like a huge gold grubber or a huge champion or or whatever else. And and that board is just very very hard to deal with if you can't play with reborn max. Now, now of course, if you're up against a high roller with uh, amalgadons, then yeah, it's unlikely you're going to take yeah. first. Although but, sometimes, right, with with Ghoul and Selfless Baron, you'd be surprised. Where if you can catch him off guard, you get a couple lucky hits. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it it, it still will be possible. Uh, but yeah, it's there. There's someone at Blizzard that really likes the Arana skin. Actually, that's my that's my theory. There, it's like I want to play <laughs> more of this hero. You know, but it, it, I don't know. This, this one definitely jumps out as like being particularly weird when I was covering it yesterday. I was just like, huh, I don't understand this one. I don't understand the test one. Those are the two like egregious ones. The rest of them are more like, yeah, it's weird, but like, whatever. Maybe but those, feel a bit off, yeah, right, those yeah. two feel like just wrong. Um, at least for no, that's cool. We have the same thing. I'm <laughs> looking at the list, yeah, being like, it, yeah, we're still yeah, two yeah, I, yeah, I'm glad it's like, yeah, we haven't talked about this. Uh, no, no, but, yeah, <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't sure if you're gonna be like, as like, oh my god, this Arana is just like so wrong. Having yeah, been on, yeah, 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 there's the yeah, it's 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 very vindicating too, right? To be like, oh yeah, we. Not talking to each other. These are the two that are just like jump out like it's crazy to both of us. And so yeah, I've kind of quite a bit. You know. Yeah, yeah. We of course we do. <laughs> but still. So we have a we have a pretty good internal like radar. Be like, yeah, that's probably not supposed to yeah. be over there. Yeah. So yeah, that's the armor stuff. Um, just looking at it from a tournament perspective, do I think this is going to change the meta a little bit, but not as not as much as some of the other changes. So I don't care. Yeah. You know, essentially, right? Like these are gonna change the meta, but like the other changes are too impactful that I'm like not thinking about the armor changes that much. But yeah, we've got the new hero. We should talk about the new hero. So expedited plans is passive. You skip your first turn, then you discover a tier two, four, and six million to get those those tiers. So it actually just goes to your hand, and then once you hit the tiers, you can play them. So it's it's nice that you're able to see what you're gonna get, right? Sometimes people just forget, like, oh, I I, I forgot I discovered a a nest patron or whatever. Um, but yeah, personally, I think the passive is pretty good. Uh, you level to yeah. two, you get your two drop. Then you can like level quicker because you know you're gonna get a four as long. And if you have like a tempo four, a tempo six, right? Like I had an Eliza, and it was like, oh yeah, I could just level to six play an Eliza, like guaranteed. Like it, it makes it a lot e- like the risk to leveling goes down dramatically because you know what you know you're gonna get the payoff immediately. So I actually think this is pretty good. It's also really good for this particular meta. So I actually think this is gonna be a pretty powerful hero. Uh just personally. I, yeah, for sure. I, I think as you get more comfortable with the meta, this hero probably gets better. I, I think he's not that well suited to how we played before this patch. I think for this patch where you really want to be able to slam. To be that, fair, this is this is my type of hero. I'm gonna be honest. Like this this is my playstyle essentially, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I level a lot. So like oh yeah, I you get to, a reward. I have yeah. To sure. beat that out of myself for the yeah, previous patch. I, I, I never, never. Like, okay, never. I be who you are, Shady. That's what I tell you, you know. That's <laughs> Yeah, the, I don't know. I started with the buddy patch, it was like tier six. That's tier six. Nah, that's, I did the opposite. Tier six win. Tier six win. Tier six win. <laughs> yeah. 
So, Maybe I, I just got unlucky those games. I'm yeah, sure exactly. You, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just, I wasted a few months, damn. But yeah. also, he has a buddy, Tavern Tier 4 at a random uh, Tier 1, three, 3, and 5 tier hand. I kind of just look at this as gain for gold, which is honestly pretty good for this hero. Like, gaining for gold. You usually get it when you're, like, Tavern 4 or 5. Like, and it gives you a chance at brand, right? Yeah, it gives you a chance at brand, and it allows you to level if you want to level. And, and there's a few. there's a few really, like... Fives are actually good now, right? Yeah, fives are good. So you can get some tempo as well. So this is yeah. not a bad buddy. I thought being tier four was going to hurt it, but based on how you play this hero, to being a tier four doesn't matter as much. So I actually think this is a pretty good buddy. The bad thing yeah. about this buddy is that people can steal it. It's also in the friend of a friend. So you can just like get this with a brand, friend of a friend, that's six gold, right? You play this, you get six cards in your head, right? And that those cards can give you econ too. Right, you can get Salamento and you're like, oh, free well, gold. You get Tavern Tempest, so free gold. You're, so you're talking even more gold, right? Because you're talking, you get friend of a friend, and this is half of the friend of a friend. Yeah, I know. Yes, and okay. Hey, hey we will talk friend. about that card. I'm just saying, like, just this card going. in instance is crazy for, you know, the the, yeah. the heroes that can steal and friend of a friend if you hit that. Especially with a brand. The, without the hogger, which is quite ridiculous. Say it again. You go infinite without the hogger, which is quite ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. But you just you, you all you need is a brand on tier six, and you can you can go infinite quite reliably. So yeah, I don't know. Like as a hero and a buddy, it's fine. But like in in conjunction with all the other changes, this is like a problematic card or problematic buddy um, to introduce into the game. Is what I'm saying. Like it's definitely too synergistic with what the current meta game is. Uh, so I, I don't like that but as a hero it's a good i think it's gonna be a playable hero i would give this i want to play it like i i before when the patch came out i said i'd play it once and then i'll try it i played it once and now i'm like i want to play it so yeah it went up it, normally it doesn't go well, up when i play the hero so well, one of the cool. weird things for me is that the um ephemeral cards in your hand Take a pan space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Even I, though you I, can't impact to them. That I, seems like some bullshit. I, I thought I was going to mention that, but I guess I didn't. Yeah. It takes a pan space. Well, a lot of times, unless you're playing like um, gem splitter stuff like that, it's not going to yeah. matter too much. I was playing that this morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like, there was a mook club putting bananas in my hand. And oh, okay. It was like extra blocking me. I was like, come on. And then, and then, and then in the middle of it, it also gave me the two buddies. It's like, I'm getting no gems. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's gonna be rough, but yeah, I I'll burned just... like what? I think I burned four gems. Four time. gems, yeah. Uh, banana, the the card, and the two buddies. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Either actually, way, at least I, you I got there. The you're you're you probably doing play... pretty good if you get there, though, right? Like, <laughs> well, I, I I think the way how you normally play this hero is you're not gonna be playing gems better, right? So yeah, but you're shady, you know. Yeah, gems better. I always right? play gems. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I can play gems better when I wake up. I roll out of bed and be like, let's play some gems better, right? So. Yeah, yeah. I can make that build work with with anything. Shutter walk. So before I saw the change to Murlocs, so I was like, "This is so weird." But after the change to Murlocs, I'm like, "Yeah, okay, I can kind of see it." So I do think it's also a bit weird with the ten armor you're introducing the shutter to, and you still have beast token, right? Like it's not mm -hmm. like it's gone, right? That's the thing. It's not like it's yeah, gone. It, it's just play? more. Not really, but I, I I can see it is what I'm saying. Like I can see yeah, yeah. the line where you do well with this hero. And it's easier sure. now. It's harder and easier at the same time, right? Like it's harder because there's you're half a token, but it's easier because it costs one and you have ten armor as well. So you can still do some stuff. So I think it's gonna be playable. Like it's not gonna stay um last tier in armor i think i think it's gonna move because like you get 10 armor like and, and the hero the the hero power isn't bad right like this isn't a like repeat all battle cries you've played that's not bad it's just like you either have to either play it differently and like more normal or you have to like really focus and get a good start with the token with the beast token so yeah. yeah, it might. If if we get a somewhat consistent non-token strat, then it's dangerous because mm -hmm, yeah. now you can pick him, yeah. and you can open alley cats, and then you're of course you're off to the races. So that it's it's almost like you don't want this hero to be viable 
without the tokens because then people will play it and they'll still high roll you because sometimes they'll open the tokens and yeah. they'll still go for yeah. that. Yeah. And, then and that, that's, that's my fear. That's where not good. It might become viable even without the tokens. And then which, you can... which is so, I guess, unhealthy that we're sitting here. Like, I really hope that there's no viable strategy for this hero because that's going to be a problem because then people will pick it and sometimes they'll high roll. Because uh, I, I feel like at Blizzard, they're just trying so hard to, to be like, please just do the thing where you have loads of battle cries and then click the button and let it rip and it's so much fun and just, you know, it's cool. And it's like, yeah, but if, if people can do that and not die, then they can also pick it and roll alley cats and that's not good because yeah. then you're still just getting hit with a bunch of six drops early. And now, just imagine if you triple into a five and then you triple into a friend of a friend afterwards. Dude, I, I actually yeah, fought a uh, shooter walk yesterday that got three fives and then like... It was like Tony Hogger and Tempo. And I was just like taking 14, right? And this thing, he had like 30 something health. And I'm just like, you know, like, don't do this to me. Don't make this viable. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. like, oh my God. And I'm just annoyed, right? It's just like, yeah. So I'm scared. I'm very scared of this change. We'll see if it actually impactful. A new minion, so they're changing the tide hunter. They're giving this is a tide caller with two extra health. I checked, I checked because yeah. I ha I hate that hero. I hate, I did not like that card, but yeah, two extra health. It yeah. does matter. It does matter that it's two extra health, but I still didn't like. That was my least favorite card when it was in. Uh, I it's, don't. It's one of those. Why are you in the game? Yeah. You're taking up one of my shop slots. What yeah. are you doing? Yeah. And then there was the dreaded triple tide caller. Uh, Role that was ridiculous. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, yeah, I've had that before. It's just like, what do you do? You just die. Uh, but yeah, it's it's playable. I mean, we played yesterday. It's playable. It wins fights like on turn one. Yeah. You get but, this in a rock pool. That's yeah. That's Weaver. Yeah. I've caliber. I've never gotten that, and I've always like, I, well, never. It's been half a day. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, never got I've never gotten that card. It's crazy. Like that's how I feel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I have been hearing some things about low tier strats where people play this with a honcho and they just cycle murlocs, like on a Rana, for instance. So that's something that I will have to like try or, or see someone do. But uh, like, I guess theoretically, right? You could see it work where you have honchos, kind of like your molten rocks in party. And then you have the swamp strikers, which are gaining attack. So and then you have the you two probably... drop to cycle. Yeah, well. yeah, that's, yeah. That's, you have the two drop to cycle. You have the, let's say you have two golden swamp strikers, right? Because it's a one drop. It's kind of like weavers. It's easier yeah, to yeah. get. And then you have uh, your two golden and then you have the kind of like your party. And then yeah, you just so, go. And yeah, you just saw, yeah. It's another around so comp. Yeah. Yeah. So it's something to do where, let's say, elementals are out, but murlocs are in. You're like, huh, maybe I'll just do this and then <laughs> see how far I get. So. As you talk about it, it sounds less and less crazy, which I don't like that it sounds less. Yeah, and no, less no, crazy. no. Like, I. The, you know, if you have two golden honchos, that's a crap ton of health, right? Yeah, and you, so you have health, a bunch yeah. of swamp strikers, that's a lot of attack. So you suddenly get big ass units <laughs> that actually get, you know, in combat. So yeah, that is, uh, and then you're playing Arana, so rolling is super easy and you have the, the two drop Murloc, which is basically elemental. Yeah. 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 But we'll, we'll see, right? Maybe the fact that it's, you know, like the, the, one of the reasons why Party Rock is so amazing is you, once you have the buddy for Arana, you can almost get away playing nothing but Selly, Smogger, yeah. and the Money Pirates, yeah. if Pirates are in. Yeah. Like those three units, you can actually, once the buddy is golden, you can actually play nothing but those three cards, which is amazing. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm not sure if you can going to be able to do that with the Murloc build. And and obviously the downside is people can play seven, so they'll have poisons for your big units. Because you, your honchos are probably not getting very big. They're buffing the Who's thing. playing sevens? What? Who does that? <laughs> Who does that? Uh, Who does that? You just have to eventually level to four or something and get a, get a seven. But yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, it's it's something that I just want to throw out. It's something interesting that the listeners might uh, might want to try out. Yeah, and Murkai is being removed for Selemental Murloc, basically is how Sela I look at it. Selemental Murloc, yeah. yeah. When you sell yeah. this, add another random Murloc to your hand. I do think this card is a little bit broken because it can hit a Malgadon, it can hit Primal Fence. I can hit yeah, hitting a, I hit a primal fin off this while I was on tier six. So it's like, oh dear lord, this is yeah, it's thing. not. I don't know. It doesn't seem balanced. With a brand on the board, naturally. Yeah, yeah. So, a bit weird. Yeah, like, almost, 
almost just like for Gallywix. It's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, they're nerfing Gallywix. And I read this and I'm like, oh, they're not nerfing well, they're Gallywix. Not, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, it was maybe confused. I was like, oh. Well, you know, it's you can do. I, I feel like I'm just way, you know, all my practice with cat guards and stuff, that's just not as relevant anymore, right? It's just sure. the alley cap. And and I used to li like do that with Gallywix. But yeah, I think Tad overall is better. It's just, yeah. What can you do? It's uh, I think overall it's it's a fun addition. I think it's a cool card, but yeah, it's it's pretty outrageous. I do want to move and talk about the removals now before we go into yeah. some of the stuff. Let's go. So Murloc, Tidehunter, sure. Murkai, and Max have been removed from the minion pool, right? Yeah. Murloc, Tidehunter, and Max. So those are the two. The Murkai is just being removed to add the tad, uh, the replacement. Yeah. So this one's not that relevant. And Murkai wasn't that great of a unit. It it's also was weird. As well. Yeah. yeah. The charge. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Back, you know? Yeah. The charge thing didn't make any sense. When you, like if you're a new player and you read the charge, you're like, oh, I get charge on a minion. Okay, what does it do? And then you're like. Charge is attack, you know, charge my the opponent. Charges, like, you like, <laughs> it's like, it's just nothing. Yeah, you know I mean? it's just dying. What is yeah. It <laughs> so it's, it's so weird to have that in the game. So I do, I do understand the removal. But yeah, speaking of Murloc Tidehunter, so removing this change, it fundamentally changes the game, right? And, and uh, okay, I have a lot to say, first of all. I Let's actually. I actually think this change is okay. I actually think this change is good and it even elegantly done. The problem is there's an official VG tournament in two weeks. This is not the time to add, to make this drastic, fundamentally game-changing meta readjusting change. Like if you did this two weeks from now after the tournament, Oh yeah, cool. Okay, you're changing it for the next the next month's tournament. Okay, we have time to adjust. The people that are going to be playing or you know know this 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 meta in and out or at, by, at this time blah blah blah. But really, uh, is is that even possible now that I think about it? Because like next week, if if we did if you did move this to to, to after it would be after a qualifying period actually for this month. Well, they've got the other lobby legends as well, right? Yeah. Already announced, so and and I think that this is just in that's in true. So that, it's not even it's not even possible to have the people that practice on this be the ones that qualify. I guess for the next lobby legends it will be, but not for the possible. Yeah, uh, not for the not for this one. So there's actually no well, way. I I think that the uh, this this happens so often um, in constructed as yeah, well. Yeah, I was I feel like more. a constructed player. That, yeah, but that was a joke I was going to make. Ah, no. Right? Well, it's the not exciting for me. It's not exciting no, for me. <laughs> I am playing Devil's Advocate here. <laughs> As a player, I would be very annoyed if I was in a tournament and I've spent these months practicing a certain meta. And sure, there's been small changes here and there and balance patch, but nothing that truly changed the flow of the game too much. But yeah, the, the patch we're having right now, the removal of Murloc Tidehunter is, that is huge, but it's my ex not that's out. That is just, yeah, that, that, that just changes how you play. It changes the balance between the heroes. It, it changes things that are completely unviable become viable. Things that are viable become unviable. So that is a huge, huge meta shift. And also I feel that is not an elegant change at all. I think we were... I think we advocated to change Max not either don't make her a beast or make it so that it doesn't interact with the reborn snake, make it a battle cry, right? So it reborns without poison. To just say, we hear you loud and clear, Max not reborn is a problem. We have removed Max. And I was like, no, that's not it. That's not the solution because she kept things in check, right? And I'll let you take over because you wanted a lot to talk about this and I want to take over here, right? But yeah. Maxna served the purpose. As much as I hated getting wrecked by Maxna, she served the purpose. Yeah, it, it was one of those counterbalances. There was like, in terms of like being able to deal with big stats. Like big stats is a problem in this game because of, especially with the buddies, people can out, can scale so much faster than they used to. So you have this like check, oh, if people are scaling, especially in, like you got to see the non- poison lobbies before where oh there's no poison then 
you like the things that one like Ragnar is just like, oh, I guess just, I just get free stats every turn. Oh, I I beat you, I beat you. There's nothing you can do. You can't outskill me. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and you just try to see like how busted stats can be if there's no actual users that can contest. And then my son with reborn is like, okay, I can contest your stats. Uh, then you have SI Finn, or I can contest your stats. And then you have Amalgadons, or I can contest your stats, right? But uh, removing the reborn removes the my ex not. It doesn't remove the SI fin, right? That that's kind of dodged the bullet. It also doesn't remove the Amalgadons. And the Amalgadons now kind of like the standard for dealing with stats where people are like, you know what? Nothing beats that gainer heroes. So now I just have to get as many Amalgadons as possible. And it's now easier to do because of, of the friend of a friend. Well, I'll, I'll chime in there is that that's what you were trying to do anyway. That is right? what you're and, trying to do. But now, and, but now and it's, there, there's even more of an incentive though. I don't know if I needed more incentive. To well, no, okay, the, okay, the players that weren't doing it are now doing it now, which makes sure. it worse for me. Because okay. I used to be like, ah, yes, that's the lie. But now everyone's doing it, so it's harder to get the Amalgadons unless you have buddies. And then yeah. it's like, oh, you know, my advantage is now being rectified because they're telling people with the patch notes, oh, this is what you need to do now. So now everyone's doing it. So the advantage I had, you know, where I'm like, oh, I'll get it earlier than people. People are now getting it as early as I am, so... It's it's not yeah, good. The, the, there's going to be only a few players in the lobby that will yeah. have the opportunity to properly build the board with Amalgons. Yeah, and, and it's generally one or two, right? Those one or two players are going to have the opportunity that, to. That's properly actually build not board. even true, actually, because of the okay. the friend of the friend. It changes everything. You can now just like get Amalgons for free, even if you yeah, don't have how it. How many or... how many people are in the position to also be playing sure. a friend of a friend? Sure. That's the sure. Thing, right? I, I understand. The, the problem is like it. in a tournament setting where the players are good, I'm gonna say like everyone's in a position. That's the that's the thing, right? When when the players are competent, they, they find themselves somehow in the position to take advantage sure. of the okay, broken. So thing. there's more chance that you're gonna have some some crazy stuff where you get to steal stuff from other people and yeah. you know, okay, sure. Everyone's that's... playing scabs and tests. That's, that's fair. That's you know, fair. Um, so I, I'm I'm thinking about this from a tournament, the tournament two week setting. That's that's how I'm yeah, looking I'm, through I'm talking, everything. I'm talking ladder yeah. for. for yeah, I, I'm not. I don't care about ladder right now. Like it's uh, okay. it's, it's quite irrelevant uh, for me for the next two weeks. Like once the two weeks are over, we're done with the lobby legends. Yeah, ladder it is. You know, but right now I'm like, how do I give myself the best chance to win the tournament coming up in two weeks? Right. That's that's how I'm looking through everything because that's what I have okay. to do. So it's just like. It's so rough. Uh, and another thing to talk about is this, this is this constructive players are going to be like, amen. <laughs> but what they're testing here is how well can you adapt to a new meta? They're not testing what got me in this position, right? Which is how good do you understand this meta, you know, blah, blah, blah. What they're yeah. testing is how good can I adapt to these changes in two weeks? You've got two weeks, Collins, learn the meta, how to abuse it and then take it to the tournament, right? And that's not what got me into the position to be in the Lobby Legends final, right? I had to learn this meta over a couple of months, even, you know, and, and well, a month or so, I guess. A month and a half, maybe. Well, I guess two months, right? Because the start of January is like, now it's in April. January, February, March. So maybe even three months, two to three months, right? Like, of, of learning this particular meta of buddies, right? But now they're going to change it dram dramatically, and you're like, okay, two weeks now, you know, be a constructive player. Let's change the meta. Now learn every. Now relearn the game and then showcase it. Right. So it's kind of weird because the skill set I may have learned. Oh, but this this hero is good. This buddy is good. It's not going to be as relevant. And then you might have like weird finishes from people you're like you're, that you're expecting to do well because oh they didn't adjust adjust the meta as well. And that that's really what constructive has been having for a, a lot of times right before the. The master store they'll introduce a patch and then it's like oh this changes everything oh now you have to relearn what you what you're gonna bring da, da, da. so it's kind of interesting to see them take that standard and say like i like that part of tournaments let's put it into battlegrounds and uh as a competitor i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it that much <laughs> actually this is not not really what i i was looking for right because i feel like there's a like to be fair, I'm not bad at adjusting to patches. Um, apparently, you know that's not that's not a weakness of mine. But like, if I was a different player or something, and 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 you've practiced so much over the months to like learn this, and now you're like, oh, 
Tidehunter's gone, Maxon's gone, oh, every, Armor's back. Uh, two weeks left to practice, you know? It's, it's, it's so weird, right? It's such a weird feeling to be like, oh, all my effort to get here, now it has to change dramatically to adjust to all, this, uh, all these changes here. So definitely feels wrong or feels weird. But I, I do know if I wasn't playing in the tournament, I wouldn't care. So this literally affects like less, you know, it doesn't affect 99.99% of the player base. It's just like these like 16 people that are like, ah, I don't like this, you know, but the rest of y'all is like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But like, for me, it's like, I do care. This is, this is quite weird to be put in this position where like, it feels a lot of the effort I've learned over the months are like, ah, doesn't matter. Now just learn this patch for two weeks. Do spend as much time as you can to learn this patch and then be as good as possible. And then battle it all and be like, ah, yes, this guy was really good at the patch. That's why he's the best Battlegrounds player for this tournament. Because he was good at these two weeks. Really abused friend of a friend. Like, got lucky with that. Like, I don't I don't even know. I also like I, we haven't talked about friend of a friend, but I, we will get there. <sighs> yes. But overall, I think the changes are semi okay my accent is a little bit weird because now there's less poison like i've seen so much more spore because there's no my accent and, and you know like spore wasn't put there as like the premium counter to, to big stats it was just like oh yeah here's a little something like a little free answer if you're against stats but now it's like there's no other way to do it if someone's yeah. taking all the amalgamas now you need a spore it's it, it's a bit weird so um, I've been in Yoinkin sports. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, it's just like, huh, is, is this the best way? Like, I, I do understand why my accent was removed because it was very vocal, right? But, eh, you know, like you guys know, like being vocal doesn't mean it's correct, right? But I do understand it. Like, it, it's not it's not even a change I'm like gonna hate or, or or toss to the ground like yeah you know like i understand why it was moved i just think like maybe there needs to be a different answer like a less like abusable answer like you know how they removed tidehunter but they added a, a another like way yeah, to get yeah. economy they haven't done that for max then i think yeah, that's what's missing you just remove yeah. like the premium poison units and like oh. that was very key in the comp the meta and really balance yeah. things out that was that's Extremely. the thing yeah. So I think in this regard, you say like people are very vocal, but it's it's so often where people can point out to something they don't like, but yeah. then they don't know, have a change. It, sure. Like, whoa, 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 we like this even less. What did you do? <laughs> don't, li don't listen to us. We're idiots. Right? Like, <laughs> and this is like, why well, you guys said Max not to go, so Max is gone. And and this is why I kept repeating is like, don't delete Max not. Change the way it works with the reborn. Maxna yeah. is fine. Reborn Maxna is not. Yeah. Especially with like Cadgar and shit, right? Like, yeah, oh, I, yeah, I agree. It's it's not it's, right with Cadgar. Speaking yeah. of Cadgar, have you? So we we haven't covered the new dinosaur yet, right? But yeah. let's just skip ahead. Have you seen someone do Mama Bear Cadgar with the dinosaur? No, I haven't seen it. I have. It's yeah. not a good time. It's not good. that's minus fifteen right there. <laughs> <laughs> they summon like they summon like two fifteen fifteens. It's yeah, it's yeah. disgusting. Isn't the second one bigger? Right, because yeah, of the cat guard. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's like yeah, 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 yeah. completely. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, but that's early game, right? Uh, disgusting. So it's like, why is this a thing? So yeah, whatever. Anyway, yeah, with the uh, tie hunter removed, then they just also just remove cat guard. Like at this point, like what what is it doing? It's just abusable, right? Like gray bow with cat guard is so nuts, and then you just have like this. Yeah, these with Cadgar. Like, like, what's the health, what's right? the oh Scally? Yeah, like yeah but is Scally healthy in the first place? In the you know, to be fair, like, is that something? Yeah, that... no, I, I think from a pure balance and keeping the game. Well, the thing is, they clearly don't want to make the game less crazy, right? They yes, the yes. I so wish, yeah. <laughs> they're okay with crazy shit, right? But the um, but I, I think indeed from a balance point of view, this is something I we said months ago when they did the huge overhaul we said there's no way alley cat and tide is gonna, gonna survive, survive. yeah overhaul. yeah and then they survived it's like what <laughs> this is very so yeah i i i'm i am behind removing murloc tide as well 
not as a player, as a very selfish player. I love tight end. <laughs> I love abusing tokens. It's so strong. But I think from a balance point of view, especially towards newer players, it was like, oh, if I want to learn this game, I need to like disconnect my game and have Cadgar and Burn and make a bunch of six drops. <laughs> like, no, you don't, you don't want to burden people with that and say, like, you can't play the game properly until you know how to do this. And, and it's like, yeah, okay, from a selfish point of view, I'd love doing it. I, I'm good at it. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it, it, I, it's not the way how the game should be played. I, I agree. So, yeah, the timing is just a bit off. And, the uh, like the change than brand having tier one and blah blah blah, so it's just not ideally implemented. But anyways, like the, the big change here is the max now, right? That's that's just a huge. Well, thing, and the so. tide. I mean, tide hunter is a huge change as well. It is huge, but I think in terms of meta impact, max now gone is bigger. That's probably true. Yeah, that's true. Probably in terms of meta impact, max of being removed is more important. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Max I agree. Yeah. Anyways, anything else you want to? cover on this or you want to we will on? go back to this probably but no um sure. moving on yeah, we've got we'll, the baby we'll crush so yeah. whenever this attack summons a 9-9 devil sword to attack the target first this reminds me of dire horn right like that that old dire horn like dire horns older cooler older better, cooler better. brother yeah, yeah. <laughs> i agree <laughs> <laughs> I I agree, right? It's this Even thing. It's called baby crush. It's the older. <laughs> it's it's nuts. This card is so good if you get it early, right? And yeah, you get it with mama. It, it's insane too. It gives me vibes of like the blacksmith, right? Who was like uh, completely dominant, destroys your opponent. Useless two turns later, two right? Turns, this this yeah. not this is not useless two turns later, uh, but it's not an end game card. Yeah, and you do need yeah. um. You need board, board space. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. the one like problem, I think. So this is amazing to triple into early when you're like, oh, I've got like four units total on my board. Great. There you got like an acolyte to protect this thing. Yeah, this it's, it's so good. Yeah. It's like you're guaranteed to get and it's like it's like, God, I had such an insane stabilization on Reno where I got a reborn on top of this thing and then I put it last. So my buddy made it golden. Oh so it survived. And then it reborns golden and it goes again. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, I'm getting so many dinosaurs. And it spawns 18, 18 dinosaurs. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting there like, this is so insane. This is like, not fair. Yeah. Like I, I beat in the Zoth who had a board full of eggs and a fish. Yeah. He's like, I yeah. don't care. The, I'm the, 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 this card is probably eggs. problematic. I, now that yeah. I think about it, this it's too much tempo when you get it. And it's, it, it's, it's not it's balanced. Yeah, it's not balanced, right? So they wanted a good like replacement because they moved the um, they moved the beast down, but this is too strong, right? Like like Direhorn was like too weakish, but this one is like way too good. And the and it's the fact that it attacks unfair. first is also pretty important. Where it it attacks and then this one also attacks, so it, like it cleans yeah. things up. There's like it's like it's Prester vibes where. You know, it might hit a spore and then your token will die, but not your dinosaur, right? Your dinosaur gets to go again later. Yeah. So Yeah, I don't know. It's uh it's a bit much uh, as a unit, right? Like the problem with this, it it reminds me of like a Hook Tusk Eudora, where everyone's focused on Hook Tusk. Where I was just like, Eudora's a problem, guys. Like, you know, I'm just like Eudora's a problem. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna adjust. If they're gonna adjust, they're gonna adjust friend over friend, and like baby Chris is like, ah, you know, let's just ignore this, you know, it's fine. And then I'm just like, no, this is still also just really too much tempo when you get it. So I, I, I there's there is nothing that can compete with this at the same stage of the game. If you yeah, when it yeah, it. when you get it, yeah, there's but absolutely there's nothing, basically nothing. That's even close, right? The, the amount of stats and tempo produced, especially given that it is somewhat likely to produce two dinosaurs. If you create two nine nine tokens, let's like like egg that makes two makes egg makes one eight eight, right? Yeah. And it's a zero five. And it's a good card. <laughs> it's a good card. And it's a great, it's yeah. a great card. Yeah. It's a great, great four drop. And this thing just routinely produces two nine nines or more. And it's a seven seven. And it's a five. seven seven, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's crazy. and it interacts, right? It interacts with Cabgar, it yeah. interacts with Mama Bear. It produces shit for the crocodile. It's just like and probably a bunch of other stuff. I'm not, you know. Maybe fuels avenge all that crap. So, yeah, it's just yeah, pretty silly. Yeah, I've not even I I wasn't coming into this podcasting. I was gonna talk about this card at all. 
<laughs> you know, but yeah, this card is problematic too. Oh my god. But yeah, baby crush you, whatever. It's gonna enable a lot of the bullshit where like, oh, they tripled into baby crush. They're gonna go to six. They're gonna find friend of a friend, right? So it's it's like this is gonna be the precursor where you're like, two turns from now, this person will be trouble because they have been allowed to level. And now finally, this isn't yeah, like this isn't <laughs> this is even the final topic, but finally you come to the main course, at least for me. Friend of a friend, tier six. Oh, I was gonna put my um my Twitter post, but I forgot. But I guess I can find it and read it anyway. Oh, have you seen Seville's Twitter post? Oh, uh, yes, probably yes, actually. Uh, well, check now, like, uh, or I can I'll, I'll link it I'll to me. Yeah, 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 I'll link it to you. I'll put it in the chat. I'll put it in Twitch chat. So Twitch chat. So I have to. Discord. I have to look at Twitch chat. Pepe. I will put it in Discord as well. No, no, no I, 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 I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. That is. Um, oh, I didn't see this one. I saw a different post. Uh, that board died from twenty eight. <laughs> Because someone had friend of a friend. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah it's like 320 health amalgadons getting and third place. That's not even two. good. Like in this yeah. meta, not even good. Like, this economy? Not, like, yeah. No. Not, <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where's his presser? Like, I don't even know. Like, uh, no, I mean, I feel like at that point, you're preparing for the finals, right? So you're keeping your brand. You're yeah, I your, know. Yeah, yeah. You've got an Adina and a Golden Selfless on He the low rolled. Like, he actually low rolled. He actually low rolled though. He has a golden brand and only two Amagadons. He low rolled like crazy. Yeah, we don't know if Merlots are in, right? That's the thing. It doesn't matter. Like friend of a friend's in. It's neutral. It's in every lobby. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but it's still. If Merlots are in, you can print dongs very. Yeah, sure. But you you don't need a lot of friend of a friend's that don't. He has a golden brand, shady. That's infinite gold. It's infinite. It's infinite gold. Playing optimally. Yes. He he messed up. I can tell you with the board that he has here <laughs> that he threw the game, you know, so that's his fault. You know, that, that's all I have to say. Just looking at this meta, that he lost here. <laughs> it's not lost funny cards. It, it, yeah, I, I, honestly, I agree. Like this, this is, but it's crazy that like what I'm saying isn't like a hundred percent incorrect either. <laughs> To be fair, no, the, the question is, do you want to play in a meta where it is incorrect I, to focus I don't, on getting... I don't, yeah, exactly, you know, right. I, I really don't, but um, <laughs> I love it's very serious. Like, I don't, I don't, I, you know, this very well when you ask me this question, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's let's actually talk about the card. Hey, it's it's a tier six. Oh, so you're never gonna get it. It's a tier six, five, six health, doesn't matter. This could be a zero one, a battle cry, discover a buddy. Now that sounds, that's a very like short hero power. Like just discover a buddy, that's it. That's all it does. does. Can't be that good, right? And then some things are best left, right? So they've removed all the buddies that don't interact with, um, that, that require your hero power to interact, right? So Brucon, Hook Tusk, Gale Wing, you need, your, you need your hero power to make it work. So those can't be discovered. So they're just making it where it should be every single buddy can be used in some capacity is is the idea but yeah i do not like this card i uh and that's that's me being nice i would use a stronger word much stronger word but i'm not going to but i uh i'm not a friend of this friend of a friend no 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 i uh, i am not uh not a good good not a fan of this card the fact that it's a battle cry Really, I just, I can't, I, I really can't <laughs> understand the design of Battle Cry with buddies. Like, I don't understand why it's not Buddy Cry or something else where it doesn't interact with brand because the, the, the buddies are good without the battle, the brand interaction. It's not, it's not necessary to add this extra brand interaction potential to all these Battle Cry buddies. It, it just breaks like it, it's not even like oh if you get a brand with the buddy now it's balanced no if you get a brand with the buddy now it's oppressive it's not balanced it becomes oppressive and i just don't understand how you're adding you're just like we didn't learn we haven't learned let's just add more battle cry buddy mechanics and a lot of the buddies that you're getting are also battle cry like the good ones they're also battle cry too so if you have a brand with this and then you hit something else and it, it doesn't make sense because you can you can get like you, you you can get so much nonsense 
uh, with this. You can get Zephyrus, you can get Gallywix, you can get the new hero, which is, you know, seven, eight gold. Fills your, fills your hand, basically, is what it says, uh, with, <laughs> with units. You can get... Um, there's so much random battle cries I'm not even thinking about. You can get Murloc, the, the Finley one, which is crazy. You can get... I mean, it doesn't matter what you can get. There's, there's so many ways where yeah. you like hit this the, with a brand and you, your board is insane. I, I think the common thing to do is you get Zephy yeah. and you make more friend of a friend. Yeah. You get Ticketus. Ah, Ticketus! I didn't even talk about Ticketus. Oh my god, dude. It's... Yeah, there's just... <laughs> yeah, sure, you can whiff. Of course, you can hit three things where you're like, oh, this is like Sneed and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Two other, like, do nothing. But the moment you hit one good one, you just take off. Because mm -hmm. you get so much economy, you get so much stronger, and mm -hmm. just, yeah, it's completely ridiculous. And it's not balanced in like any way. <laughs> I think that's something to throw out there. Like, the, you can be completely losing the game. Then you have this interaction, and now you're the strongest in the lobby. And it didn't matter what happened before that. You hit this, you were last place tempo-wise, now you're strongest in the lobby with an ice block, with a golden brand, two amalgadons, and ten cards in your hand at the end of the turn. And you're just like, why am I doing any other direction? Yeah, and you can like, and, I, and I you can it. do this every game. It doesn't every game. You could it doesn't matter. This is always in the lobby. There's no argument against like, oh, there's no friend of the friend this to lobby, or it's not that good because you can't get this buddy because oh Murlocs aren't in, so you can't get you know this hero. No, Zephyrus is in every like Zephyrus doesn't have a, a type, you know. Galleries doesn't have a type, Ticketus doesn't have it. You can always get those. And it's just like why? Like, why? <laughs> I, 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 I have more to say. I'm going to give you some time if you want to jump on here. But I have more to say. If you oh, I mean, I don't want to keep you here. I mean, I can give you my... I think I've already chimed in, right? Where I, I mentioned the really good ones. The Zephyrus, the, the Tick. And I'm sure there's other stuff, right? There's the Flurg one. The... Um, I guess my my two cents is that whatever you're seeing right now is nothing compared to what people will be capable of two months from now. I uh, completely agree too. I mean, I was going into that, but you, I mean, yeah. that's, that's not okay, that's sorry. not the well, problem. Yeah, right. yeah. so, I've been doing it today. Yeah. I've been doing it today, and some games I was just absolutely destroying people. Like no chance. You have absolutely no chance of beating me. And th and then I told chat, the worst part is this is the worst I'm ever going to be at using this card. <laughs> This is the first day. This is yeah. the worst I'll ever be at using the card. So two months from now, if they don't remove this and everybody gets really good at this, you're going to see just outrageous boards, like you say, pop out out of nowhere. You had no shot. You had no chance of doing anything in this game. Oh, ran friend of a friend. Boop, and you're gone. Now you might completely hit nothing. It's always possible. But my main problem with the card is that you have... Well, I mean, not my main problem, but I guess the, the the one of the more annoying problems is you never know what your opponent is going to have when you're checking through like, okay, before I would be able to see and say, okay, in order for me to win the lobby, I need to play around big demons there. So that, that requires poison. There's mechs here. I need a ghoul. I need to do this. All that planning does not matter because someone can hit friend of a friend. Your board completely changes. They have Divine Shield and everything all of a sudden, right? There's Wind Fury. You have Macaws with Wind Fury, Divine Shield. And so that's that's the most annoying thing about the card for me is that I can't plan for what my opponent is going to do because they come like crazy out of nowhere. <laughs> and that's that's just not fun. I feel like part of the skill in the end game is planning for what your opponents are going to have and being able to predict roughly what their board is going to look like a turn from now. And that is just, if they're on tier six, there's no predicting it. They could completely change. They could have a board full of braggarts, right? So yeah, very yeah. difficult. So, I want to yeah. I want to switch over to my next topic, you know, real quick. Sure. Now, yeah. <laughs> it's the case against friend of a friend. I wouldn't mind if you remove this today. Just say, you know what? <laughs> This was not the direction. Let's just remove it. I would be like, you know what? Blizz like hats off to you. You fu you figured like this is not. I don't think this is healthy. And I, I'm, I am 
a hundred, like I, I, well, nine, it's Blizzard, right? So maybe not a hundred, but I'm very particularly sure this is going to get removed, changed in some way where this is not the interaction that you're playing. Like maybe they remove all of the crazy buddies that matter or they do, they do something, right? Like, but the way it inter the way right now, this is just not a card that deserves to be in the game. It's too... It's too RNG, it's too swingy. I made a post about it yesterday. Just like looking looking at this card, it felt wrong, you know, just like looking at the card. But then playing with the card, I was like, how does this get through testing? I just really I really don't I don't see it. Like I I don't know how you you play the you test this with a brand. Like I like first, do they not play with brands? Like I don't. Like, I, I asked because Ticketus had ticket the us. same issue, it's right? Like, yeah, yeah like right? they had the yeah. same issue. Like, do they not play the the, the new yeah. cards they introduce with a brand because it changes fundamentally how you play with it? Like, if you're playing this, like, oh, I play this normal and I get something and I play it and it's like, oh, it's it's not that broken. But you add a single brand and you try it, it's very different, right? So it it. It changes how you look at the game, right? The game fundamentally changes because you add this card because a lot of the time now, like if, if especially against Comden players, they're going to realize if I do anything else that doesn't involve this, I lose, right? So the high level players are just going to force this. They're going to force Bran and this, and that's going to be the whole tournament. It's just going to be like, how early can I get this before my opponent? And I don't want to play in a tournament that's like, oh, yeah, I lost because I didn't get my friend of a friend yeah, before my opponent. Like, will be to, how quickly to, can I get this? Yeah, and, and what can I do that minimally impacts my economy so I'm still able to level and give myself a good shot and keep my health high, right? So that's more the interesting part. And be like, oh, they hit it. Okay, so they're, it, they're safe. It, they're it's not going to be a good-looking tournament if this is in for the tournament. Let me tell you guys, like... I, I, you know, I'm competing. I, I'm well, <laughs> depending it's, it's on not, what angle, it is going to be an excellent tournament. There's a lot of keg W in the chat. Or, I, <laughs> I, 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 mm, uh, this is the this is the first BG tournament. Like you don't want it to look like what it's gonna look like if you leave this in. This is my issue. Mm. And, and another thing, it it's not even it's not even consistent with their own philosophy, right? Because they removed. Um, they removed uh, Hogger, Hamul, right? And what was the reason for Hamul? Yeah. It's a win more card, right? <laughs> when people are strong, That's you're That's going true. to... You it, pulled too far ahead once you were ahead with Hamul. That's so true. It, it, this is Hamul on stone. It, it's, right? it's, it's a crazy Hamul. It's an insane Hamul where you just get it and you just win the lobby. And it's like this... You said yourself, like just earlier, you know, a couple of months ago, like, oh, we yeah. don't want to introduce these win more philosophies. If people are doing well, we want to tone that down, right? Make it more balanced for the people. Ooh, and you're just problem. like, next, next, next month, next patch, here you go. Let's just add a crazier homo into the. And it's just like, the, I don't the get problem it. problem I'm sensing here, Collins, is that it's going to be a similar solution as we hear you loud and clear. No more Remor Maxna. Maxna is gone. No more Bran with the thing. Bran is gone. I'd be like, that's not what we meant. That's not what we meant. The brand did nothing wrong. Bring back the brand. The, the brand is not the problem. Cool it's it's the fact that brand interacts with these buddy heroes so dramatically. Yeah, what's, the, what's the easiest for them? change the ba brand? change change Still battle brand buddy or, cry. Just change, just change the, the battle, battle cry for buddies. For buddies or yes. Brand, yeah. Just change the battle cries for buddies so they don't interact. Like it's it's not that hard, right? Like I feel like that's the problem. To, like you say, you say that I'm not sure right the, well okay so this is the thing right I talked about this on stream earlier today the, the huge huge appeal of Hearthstone in general is that you can have a new player sit them down give them like minor directions and they're off they're playing and they're enjoying there's no rule book sure there's some things that you do a lot better if you know and all that but um am I still good here by the way I see my streams loading yeah, it's, it should be okay. good. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, um, you, could, you could just sit someone down and say, okay, enjoy it, play the game. And there's a lot of other games where you're like, Whew, let me uh, dust off the rule book here and then start <laughs> studying before I can start enjoying the game. And I don't mind that from time to time to just be like, all right, I'm just going to really, really get into this before I can enjoy this game. I think TFT, right? If you look at TFT, is like, let me just sit down and enjoy this game. No, no, you have right? To sort I, of I know that's what the, do all the items do. What are all the compositions? Blah blah blah. And I don't mind that, but that that is the case for BGs. So I think part of it is that 
they really don't want to add like battle cry or like between brackets does not interact with brand no that's not consistent right or but like did, buddy did, cry why is there buddy cry why is there battle cry like keep it as simple as possible <sighs> I'm not saying that they won't do it. I'm saying that that might be part of the reason that, you know, like for instance, Max now wasn't because in terms of balance, it's so easy to say like, oh well, Max now does not interact with the snake, but then people go like, well, Max now is a beast. Why does she interact with snake? Well, so then you're like, okay, we're gonna change Max now, but then that's something they can't do either because Max is in the actual game. So then they'd have to remove yeah. the menu and bring it back, blah blah. So there's a lot of constraints on there. So. I think part of the design philosophy is to keep it as simple as possible at the start. Of course, high-level BVs, right? They can get quite complex with what the right line is and how people play. And that's why, obviously, there's people with very high MMR, right? Because they're good at that. But, you know, you can you can sit someone down and explain BGs extremely fast. Yes. Now, I hear you, and I also do not care because <laughs> there is a no, tournament but... coming up. I like to play devil's advocate, right? and so no, it, I, of course I agree. I think it's completely crazy, and I don't want Brand to die for this. <laughs> yes, and it's it's not that hard of a jump, right? Like, uh, and even looking at the card itself, right? Why are these buddies not discoverable? You know, like you, if you're a new player, like I don't get it. Why are these like you? You're not gonna understand, mm. right? But it makes intuitive sense if you play the game, and it's the same thing for this. You just like it. It's gonna. It it might be weird for a day. And then it's not weird anymore. Like it's not it's not that big of a like a fundamental change. All, all the buddy battle cries don't interact, or or like they have a different keyword now, and it, it doesn't. It's not the same one as the brand one, so it doesn't interact. Like it's not that's not like oh my god, it's so convoluted. Like I can never explain it in a sentence. No, it's just a different keyword now. Like I'm done. Like that's that's so. But but yeah. that's not even like the only solution. I'm just saying like that's, that's the one that jumps in my head, right? But it's it's like still. A problem, right? Like, even if you did that, right, you make it... Like, this card would still be problematic because some of the hits you can get are too game-breaking, right? Like, mm -hmm. take it as too game-breaking, I, I think, as a... I, I think... A, so, buddies are obviously meant to be cross-class due to the fact that there's two thief classes who steal buddies, so... They they really? they're obviously not they're not opposed to that right. But I do agree that you you just make it too common. So I, I think this is another issue, right? And it's it's similar to the Ticketus thing, where Ticketus in its most oppressive form uh, up to date was when you could discover um, the thing the that bounce, makes the bounce, and you yeah, can you still make... do that. You could, yes, like, ah, it's, it's it, more difficult and more steps, but I'll, I'll get to that, right? But the thing is, like, the average player doesn't build those ticketed boards that we did all the time. Right. Right? They might sometimes stumble upon something that's close, right. and that's just because we do it all the time, and it's, you know, we do it the, the whole day, and we see other people do it, and we get quite good, quite fast at optimizing how to build a bullshit board like that. And And part of that is, like, the friend of a friend creates those memories where somebody says like, oh, this one time I had Bran and I stole this buddy <laughs> and got two of them and it was so fucking good. And you're like, that's the seventh time I've done that today and I've been killed by it 19 times so far. <laughs> like, I get, That's the problem. It's for the, you know, the more casual player. This is that epic thing that creates a memory that was like, oh, this was fun and this is part of why I like the game and it's crazy. And then at the top, it just creates frustration because you're like, it's not crazy. It happens all the time. It's really not that hard. It's literally crazy. every game. Like, every game, that's the, right? like, it's, it's, it's literally not, it's every game. game, guys. Like, yeah. this is in every game. And I have to deal with every game I've played. And yeah, I played some off stream as well after. And it's like every game. And it's just like, <laughs> am I doing it or is my opponent doing it? And am I doing yeah. it faster than my opponent before they get in and kill me? And I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, and it's just like, the, I guess it feels a little bit like, <laughs> doomsayer right where you're racing for doomsayer and if you don't hit yeah it, you're yes screwed. yes you it's the same you need thing. to force this shady i was watching streamer games and you're not forcing this and i'm just like yes no. Collins, i will please stop learn trying <laughs> don't do anything things. else don't do anything <laughs> else <yes. laughs> i'll start playing now i'll gain a thousand mmr overnight thank you thank you thank you that's what i want to <laughs> I like just slowly shifting things, but okay, Collins. I tomorrow, chat, you heard him, right? Tomorrow we force this. 
Unless all day. There's a Voice hot it all fix. day, boys. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a hot fix, please. Please <laughs> remove <laughs> remove the card. Like I understand. This is what I said. I understand you're trying things. This is not it. This this card is too RNG and game deciding when people hit it. Just remove it. It's not it's not what you want the tournament to look like for the first official BG tournament finals. Like it's not. You don't want to see. I mean, I I don't think people are going to come out of this tournament and be like, that guy deserved to win. <laughs> or girl, you know, like, that, I don't think that is the impression we're going to get if if this card is still in. Like, it's like, oh, this guy is really good at rolling a friend of a friend into Ticketus. Like, wow, what a great player. Like, he really outplayed the opponent that also did the same thing but didn't get the Ticketus into the double ice block turn. Like, oh, that's, uh, that's unlucky. He just didn't need to outplay that, you know? It's like, it's not, it's not going to be healthy uh, at all. And, and if this card just continues to be a part of the, the meta game, it, 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 it's going to be cool and then it's going to be frustrating and it's going to be annoying, right? Because like at first it's like, oh, this is cool. And then it's like, oh, that's why I lost. Oh, he just got this. Like, and then it's going to be like, oh, here we go again. I'm like, oh, he got it before I got it. Oh, it's like... So yeah, I I don't know. Like it looked broken, and it's even more broken than I thought. Like that's that's what that's what blows my mind. Like it's even better than I thought it was when I looked at the card. I was, <laughs> it's crazy. So yeah, I I don't get it. I I really, I I don't know. Um, and I and I'd be very happy to see this gone like immediately. I just don't, I don't think it's the right direction. That's my personal opinion, but you know, I'm gonna throw it out there because I really don't like this card. I think this is like the um, I don't know what the word is, but like I, I've never been so like negative, uh, like over, over overall towards a patch. Uh, I, I, this is the this is this is probably the the yeah. most negative I've been towards a no, patch. I think that's now, now that might be due to the tournament coming up in two. Like I, I'm very aware that i might have some personal bias here really affecting like whether i care or not because like normally i might not care like oh yeah this is broken but who really cares it's gonna be gone in two weeks like you know doomsayer i didn't care like oh, it's gonna be like if i if there was a tournament during that patch i might be like this i can't believe this is in like what is this meta you know i might you know i might be like that but like there wasn't i was like I wasn't even playing that like the first month Doomsayer was I'm not the first the first week yeah. right I wasn't even I wasn't even at home. Yeah, that, I remember that clearly because I think that was the same time Panda was crazy, right? And you're like, what? Yeah. People got more Panda when yeah. they were high of a Yeah, <laughs> right. But I imagine I'd be like, oh, this is so like if if like next day we had a podcast and I'd be like, how can ever how can I get Panda every game? Like, how is that fair? There's a tournament in three days and the 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 players yeah. are just gonna get like I'd just be like complaining the same, right? But there wasn't any of that. I didn't care, right? So it might just be due to like there's a tournament coming up really soon. That, Which I think is fair. Yeah. I so I think that's normal. You're 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 the stakes, right? It it has a huge yeah, impact it, yeah, on you. Yeah, yeah. Whereas before it didn't impact you. I mean, or impacted you very you know yeah. very lightly. But yeah. now there's actually there's there's a lot of there's a lot on the line right now, yeah, especially because you made it this far. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Like if I lost there. the qualifiers, I'd probably be like. Uh, it sucks for those guys. Yeah, hopefully. Copium, right? Copium, Copium yeah. by the next lobby legends, this is out for sure. Yeah. Um, there's definitely some bias, at least from my perspective, that I'm well aware of, but I don't care that there is. I'm still going to raise my case that this card is not healthy. It's not going to be a good meta. It's too RNG, too the game deciding, and too powerful. So, um, yeah, not a fan of this card, uh, but yes. And uh, we have more to talk about. Uh <laughs> really? Okay. There's actually more in the patch. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's check it out. Acolyte's moving to tier two. Uh, <laughs> Shady, take happened? it away. See, if this had happened in an isolated patch, this would be the main topic. Acolyte, no longer tier one minion. Groundbreaking difference, especially during the Avenge meta, right? Which would have been a good change, by the way, Blizzard, during the whole Avenge meta thing to not have Acolyte be a one drop, but yeah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this, so I think overall, 
th this affects uh, warrior curve quite a bit because the I was thinking about hmm, now that the meta is a little bit more greedy and I kind of want to raise to six a bit more. I wonder if I want to do some more warrior curve to try and set up some nice nestling matron. I'll buy some acolytes and ah, there's no acolyte on one. Okay, so that 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 is that is. An, I, I think it's a fair change, by the way. I yeah, think yeah. Was, I, I agree. Just an amazing tier one minion, basically on par with so many two drops. Right, you would put it against the two drop and it would tie all or, the time or win <laughs> or win. <Yeah. laughs> That's the worst part. Yeah. Kill a two drop, right? Uh, but yeah, that that is just yeah. Very, uh, I think it's a fair change, but again, that is that does impact the game. Yeah, so, th this is one of the bigger impacts, which is funny, right? Like, you know, we've been talking about, oh, yeah, my ex now, oh, yeah, tight on air, oh, yeah, uh, but friend of a friend. But the this really drops the value of warrior curving a lot because you don't get that, like, oh, this big card that can really contest against the two drops so the people leveling to two don't have that much of an advantage because you still can just get units that are on par or arguably stronger than um than the two drops right the 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 argument for this being stronger as well is that it, it synergizes very well with so many other cards right it synergizes with arms synergizes with avenge really well it synergizes with Tony's and and having you have a taunt anything as well. on the board that you don't want sniped straight away. Yeah, just yeah. just the difference your your average win rate in the mid game between having one acolyte on the board and having no taunt is just huge, right? You, even if you're running a deflecto and a reset, acolytes got you covered, right? You're gonna hit with the deflecto. You're yeah. gonna hit with it, the reset. It also plays around play. them having a deflecto, right? Because they go into the yeah. acolyte too, right? Two so deflecto, yeah, right? Just right. get completely so, absorbed. Yeah, yeah the it's so strong. Yeah, yeah, in the late, and and you would you would you would buy this in the mid game for me. Like at least I would do that routinely, where you say, "Oh, I'll just end on an acolyte because it's going to absorb the shields, or it's going to proc this seven, or it's going to do this, or it's going to do that." You could still do that, by the way, but it's just outlying how strong that card was, and especially if you can, you know, do a curve where you're on tier one and you get them for free. I mean, when I say you get them for free, you still have to pay three gold, but. <laughs> You would have spent that gold anyway buying cards. Now yeah. you may need to go out of your way to pick one up. That's what I'm saying. So, oh. yeah, cards, cards, nuts. Um, so, Great card. yeah, turning it to two is fine. I, th I think this makes leveling to two quite a bit better because it's like, oh well, it's not that. Oh, I can get this on two, but oh, they can't get this on one. Is is more the the thought process mm -hmm. behind it. So. Yeah, your uh, positioning changes, right? The yeah. Oh, yeah, the right. I don't have to play ready. around this card uh, as yeah. much, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, gotta, it, yeah, it was so funny looking at the tournament. Almost everyone was like, something into 1-1, one, one, into something. <laughs> like, I was yeah. like, it was so cool. Because like, if when I'm playing ladder, it's not like that, right? It's just me, like, oh, something into 1-1. Yeah. Yeah. But like in the in the tournament, it's like everyone has something into 1-1 one, because one, everyone knows Acolyte's nuts and they were just all buying it and just playing around it. It was so cool. I was like, ah, oh, yes. Because when I see it from my opponents, I'm like, yes. But in the tournament, everyone's doing it. So I was like, oh, this is this is different. You know, and I'm like, oh, Monka S, like they're actually competent. <laughs> like, I need to actually play. But yeah, it was kind of cool to see that too, so. That's that's something, but yeah, it's 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 definitely a big change um, to have for the meta. But there are so many other changes that this isn't that like impactful overall. But it is like really important, I would say, um, that this is getting moved from tier one to tier two. So warrior curve a little less strong, but in some heroes they still like it. I, it was kind of interesting just seeing people level more. Like yesterday, I was like, oh, people are leveling now, so. Doesn't impact them. Yeah, I feel like there is a little less emphasis as well at 100% racing for that buddy meter. I think that's part of it because there's a little bit more of a balance between I want to also set myself in a position where I can level properly and go fast. And a lot of the time, if you went really hard for the buddy meter early, that um, that handicapped your ability to level because a lot of it involved I'm going to buy and sell bacon early just purely for gems, just purely for stats. That's still economy you're investing in, especially if you're staying on tier one longer. And let's say you're only going to tier two on six gold uh, or on five gold rather than yeah. in to be able to go to tier three on seven gold. You have to sell something off your board to tier. Yeah, it's, it's so weird because because of friend of a friend, like all the other like good tendencies that you've learned for the buddy 
meta is like kind of irrelevant because the what's That's more right. important yeah. is getting this. So like all that good tempo you've you've like you've like uh, made common is stuff like it's like ah oh, does that matter? Like I, I that doesn't get me friend of a friend. Like who cares? Like I don't have brand friend of a friend. Like I don't I, who cares about winning my battle? I, you know let me let me just level. Like I've seen people go three on three. Like way more yeah. three on three, which is just like, what are you like? Like uh, normally, I was like, what are you doing? But now I'm like, hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, no, the front of the front, man. <laughs> like it, it, it makes sense now, and it's crazy to me. Like, oh yeah, it's and it's only because you've added this one card because it's so it sort of dwarfs the meta, um, you know. So it, it's just like, huh? I, I just remove the card, please. Remove it, remove it, guys. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be coming back to this from time to time, folks. So, so. Every, I'm, I'm taking a stand every week. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a case for the the new friend of a friend until it's removed. Yeah. I'm doing that now. I'm, <laughs> there's gonna be a topic about removing it until it's gone. I'm doing yeah, it. You can you can maybe try adding XR like at hey friend of a friend stinks right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little too much effort for me. Uh, you know, like, I don't want to have to, like, actually, like, do something different. But I could, like, reuse yeah. this topic, you know. That's, that's not that much effort. You know? I, I see what you're saying. It's, it's, it's a good, good callback. Um, another thing, Rattler's moving from 5 to 4. I actually think this is such an impactful change, too. Um, and that it makes yeah. Beast so much stronger. And also makes the consistency of, like, getting, like, Golden Reborn Macaws and Golden... Um, not well, that's not golden, but like reborn Macaw, reborn Goldrin, reborn Mama Croc, right? It's so much easier yeah. to get the the rattler. And rattler used to be on four, and it was kind of oppressive. And now they put it, it back. It was really annoying with leapers. Yeah, right, where where leaper yeah. was really strong, and then snake on four just made it so much more consistent. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Like when I realized today, well, I saw a leaper golden. comp. <laughs> that might happen more now honestly dude, I, I had feel like dude i had the nuts friend of a friend and i lost the leapers and i was like i i knew it was my fault like how can i have like golden brand friend of a friend and lose to a leaper comp i was like i was like i i misplayed it right because i could have you needed to make a 300 300 to win fury i just needed a zap i just need yeah i just like i i i was too like lazy i was like i was yeah. getting like I had like uh, four Amalgadons or like three three Amalgadons and uh, Prester and like Divine Shield, everything. But like it didn't matter because he, he ended up, he had Golden Brand, right? I mean Golden Baron. So he ended up something like 500, 500. Yeah. Right? yeah. Even, even if I have like a, a 200 so you, Amalgadon. You so went for the patented Collins all in with the brand on the board, I think. Right? Divine Shield, you know, 50 attack. <laughs> the I mean, brand had some stats. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, I I just needed to roll zap and then pump a zap like that was what I needed to, needed to do. But uh, I I wasn't thinking about it. Like now, if I'm in that situation, I know oh, I'm not letting you win Frogger comp. Like, <laughs> but but yeah, I, I I messed up. That was my mistake. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, you know, rattlers help that's that's with that. Hard. Yeah, no. I what I was gonna say is today I had a, a I had a game where it was actually that Reno game where I made the the gold and golden with the with the buddy. The, the the point where I realized it was so much more common is I had a golden rattler on my board because mm -hmm. I, I tripled it and I just reborn the macaw and then I tripled in the gold and I was like, oh, I'm so happy I tripled the reborn the macaw. So the um the point I was making is that I was like, oh, I kind of need to put these reborns back in the pool because I need to hit a lot of them. But, but you just rolled into a room. I also kind of need a beast on my board, so I don't want to risk it. And, like, and then I just rolled another one. I was like, ooh, wee. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, they're, yeah. they're way more common now. Yeah. So you know, when's the last time you had a golden rattler and a regular rattler next to each other on your board, right? It's not very common. Ah, so. With Zephyrus. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So organically farmed, reanimated <laughs> oh, okay. rattlers. Purely rolled from the shop. I'm not. Like, I'm no not an organically farming production. person. I, I'm very synthetic. <laughs> very, yeah. like, like, when when my game play, I just like generate All value printed. out of nowhere. Yeah, for sure. No, but yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, which I think is not necessarily bad, right? I think that the rattler on four, it it just it it changes the dynamic. And and I wonder with leaper being weaker and with max not being out how much i i guess the 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 are leapers game, weaker well because you don't even weak. run my x9 and leaper 
No, no, no. I mean in general for the snake, right? Snake was moved to five, but then Max now was a card back then, and leapers were stronger back then. So leapers used to oh, have. Sure. Uh, what is it? Plus two, plus two, or plus two, plus one, or something? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. You need Golden now Brand. Have, you need Golden Brand. I mean, Golden, golden Baron. Baron. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can play Leapers. Well, I guess the, the point I'm trying to make is for Leapers, before when Rattler was on four, before they nerfed it to five, you could triple into a brand and camp on four. Then, because Rattler was on five, you couldn't really do that because you still needed oh, right. the Reborn. Yeah. Now, if you triple into a Baron, you can think about camping on four on again, four. especially if you already have some frogs, and you can say, okay, I'm just going to roll for my Macaw. That's I'm gonna true. Roll for snakes. Like, especially uh, if you're Reno. It was the Reno, right? I bet he tripled into a Baron on and four, and then just, yeah, and just like, yeah, and that's how he won that lobby. Yeah. That's true. I bet you could do that more as well. That's a good point you're making. Yeah. I, Either way, once again, I don't want to play Leaper, so, you know. <laughs> I want to distance myself. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's probably viable. Not a Leaper person. Yeah. God, if this nah, change please. makes me play Leapers more, God, I'm going to not be happy. Like, <laughs> you gotta, you got to battle the friend of a friend with Leapers. Right? Anyways, I feel like you can catch some. Well, I mean, you you experienced this. You can catch some people off guard when they're like, "I have ultimate amalgamators. I've got a." I lost to it. Like, I lost to this nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> I was a little. Okay. I was mad. I was more mad at myself. Like it's I like mean, I lose to Leeford. No, that's I'm, the win was on the table, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like you felt it. It's yeah. No. I have that every time I have like golden hoggers and I don't get first place. I'm like, damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> I, I, I threw, I threw yeah. somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you can't have golden hog. Of course, like maybe you die the turn you get it fair or whatever. Yeah. But if you've had golden hoggers for multiple turns, you're winning that game or you're doing something wrong, right? Yeah. All right, next up. Strong shell to five to four. This one's a little bit weird for me because it's like, I get it, but I also like, don't know, you know, like it, the pro. Okay, the problem with this is that friend of a friend's in. It's the problem with every every change and every decision in the game now, is that it, you we can't really I can't really analyze this fairly because it's not friend of a friend. It's a battle cry that doesn't instantly win you the game, and that's really not what I'm looking for when I play this. You know, I play battlegrounds. So, you know, so I I'll, just can't. I'll chime in then. Right. Go for you're, it. You're you're traumatized by this kind of a thing, okay? So my take on this, it's twofold. Uh, the the first one is with the snake thing combined as well. Fives are great. Fives are great. Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Tripling at the five is great. Tripling a four, not so much, right? Because you sure. can get the scavenger and the snake in the same one. Well, I, I wasn't like, tripling uh, into fours anyway, so I, like it doesn't. Yeah, really I, it's it was a big part of my gameplay. Not, where not you, for me. You, so something. Well, you, you I need love to look tripling at. into a four and then just leveling straight to six with that tempo, right? Yeah. Sure. Um, whereas now there's a good chance you're not going to hit a tempo for uh but like it's amazing right you triple into grubber you're like oh my god you triple into bunker it just farms the gems you're just you're just it's nest there. matron for me where i'm like sure that's all that that's that's obviously a great one right but anyways like the, the first point is that tripling into a four is weak weaker tripling into a five when beast turret is amazing it's right? amazing yeah crush, there's too many good fives yeah so good now right which is fine Fives can get some love, right? Remember, remember yeah, yeah, several remember. months yeah, we yeah, were just yeah. saying. Five suck. Yeah. Five? Unless oh, beasts are in, is what I would always add. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would always be like, get your mama bear. <laughs> uh, but then uh, the other one is I think this is really fun for Millhouse, where you Ooh, can get like, you can get yeah. the oh, you can get the taunt and the taunt yeah. giver on yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, that's you're true. With Magnus. You, you can have a role where you buy an Argus from the shop and Magnus literally puts a strong shell in the shop. It's like, oh, that's so kind of you, Magnus. Thank you very much. So Ooh, you can the Millhouse. The Millhouse buff. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you can taunt your whole board with Mill. Well, you already do that a lot yeah. of the time, right? To protect your masters. You just taunt everything else. Um, so strong shells are really fun. And also they increase the chance of getting a domo, increase the chance of getting the re-roll. So yeah. A good cyclable four four as a four drop as Millhouse is super good. So Jug is there now, Scavenger is there now. You can cycle the thing that gives you two gems. You're obviously buying Domos. You're buying your reroll. So lots and lots of good stuff on the tier four now to cycle. That's true. That's a good point there. Hmm. Interesting. 
but not friend of a friend. So who no really? Friend of a friend yeah, of who a really friend. cares? But like, it is interesting. Like sitting there, like who cares about your pathetic board of 100, 100 stats? I it, will, it, it literally does time. nothing in the end game. Like I honestly, like I, I, I know you're joking, but like in the end game, that is like so bad. Uh, in this meta, like a hundred hundred stats, like useless, like honestly. So, There's no divine shield, no wind fury. Does you don't have ice block on your units? Like you haven't what? rolled several tickets. Yeah, like come, on, like come on, like what are you doing? Like, it act like it's actually useless. So I, I agree. <laughs> it, I'm, dude, like once friend of a friend is gone, I hopefully like we can actually start talking about these like as an actual like yeah, is this it's, good? Is this bad? Like, but right now it doesn't matter. It's That's... super comparable to the Doomsayer meta, I'd say, where Doomsayer just, there were all these things that, like, I think Nest Matron, for instance, was the thing where you were like, there were a lot Why of Why would you who, ever get Nest Matron, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, there were, but there were some believers who said, like, you know, this card is actually so good. It's just that Doomsayer is so unbelievably <laughs> broken. <laughs> That why would you ever buy an S major, yeah, right? Because yeah. I remember right in the Doomsayer meta, I was saying, like, oh, you know, I got a golden S major and it was kind of okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine saying that now when you have a golden S major? It's like, it was kind of okay, it was playable, you know, got some got some extra gold and battle cries. But yeah, back then that's how it felt because it wasn't Doomsayer. And and it's similar now, where you know, like all these things, they're not friend of a friend. So, you know, it doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully once the card has been deleted, altered, deleted, nerfed, nah, removed. I'm not, I'm not, nah, we're it's verbatim gone. Just, just say, hey, we messed up. It's fine. Like, I, I will have more respect <laughs> for that decision <laughs> than this, like, ah, you know, we're just going to, like, alter it a little bit. Like, it's not that bad of a card. I, I hope it's a straight delete. I yeah. hope it's not like, oh, we're going to make it random. Because, if honestly, if you're not discovering R random it, is, random. I think someone suggested, oh, what if you make it random? It's That's not solving the problem because you're increasing the range. You yeah. just need to play more friend of a friend yeah. now. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Because when you have a brand, it's free to play. It, it, you're still going to buy it. it you're still going to play it. it and you're still going to hire The, the problem with making it random is it doesn't change the game plan. You know, it just changed some of the outcomes, but it doesn't change what you do. You're still going to be like, if if this guy hits front of a front of a brand, he, he's, there's a good chance he just like outpaces me and wins and he's on six and I can't compete. So I still need to do something similar in power to compete with that. So my game plan is still... Just get friend of a friend and then high roll. You're like, you just add more RNG, but like, I still just roll ticket as buddy. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. Right. I just need one ticket as buddy. Okay. I have two ice blocks now. Uh, I have a, I have a divine shield on everything. Like, it's, it's not the problem with changing it in that way is it doesn't change how you play the lobbies, unfortunately. You know, like, it's still, it's too, it, it's even like you make it the worse. You make it worse. <laughs> it's actually, because right. it's so, now more RNG and more problematic instead we, of like we, less we RNG. Have, uh, questions from the chat where what if we would turn it into a genie? Just spawn a buddy and put it in your hand. A, G, a, a genie? Rattle. A death rattle, yeah. A death rattle card? So you that's, have to that's a lot better turn. because it's, it's way better. You, it yeah, doesn't serve the problem is the brand synergy, right? Like just salt the, the yeah, buddy cry solves a lot. Better. Now you're way weaker because yeah. you got to keep that on your board and you got to keep the brand on your board, right? And, and it takes a while. Time, I still hear you. That doesn't mean you can't do it in one turn. Still hit ticketus, still win the game, right? So I, I think it doesn't really have a place in the game. I think it's too accessible for other people. You're you're essentially turning everyone into a test and a scab. So, yeah, and it's, it's complete fun fiesta. Yeah, right? it's, it's too much. So I don't even know. Like, what do I do? Do I do I practice this, or do I just say? Do I, I just say get, I will I think you get started? Yeah. Or do I say I will spend my week arguing to get this removed in a week that <laughs> that is more value for me as a competitive player to just say screw this i'm going to rally against make sure they change it in a week and then i'll learn the meta in the in the, in the next week you're, <laughs> is, you're, uh, is that more effective for me i'm, I'm considering this guys <laughs> your floor is very low then because <laughs> You could fail and then I, you haven't practiced. I agree. And then, and then I agree. Is, I'm just saying, low floor like, is so it? Because, because, okay, imagine you practice this for a week and then they change it and then you're still kind of stuck in that mentality, right? So you're actually getting negative value too. I so. feel like the moment they patched Doomsayer, it was just like, okay, we can start playing the game now. Yes, I know. I don't think it was a, 
What do I do now? I'm still tripling into three drops on autopilot. I can't help myself. I know, I know. But you could get too comfortable with this super greed value and then like not tone it down for the tournament the week after you know i, I mean? think i believe in you as a player i, I also do that's the I, problem yeah, i was gonna say i feel like <laughs> i could probably that, do that, it so i think you could definitely that's do that's it. my problem right so i but but i thought it was funny <laughs> you, want, you want an excuse to not have to practice this bullshit, yes i 100 percent <laughs> That is very fair. I'm here, to, I'm here to be the tough love call of the say Go out there and practice that bullshit and win that tournament regardless. Oh, uh, God. Uh, man. If I didn't have this tournament, I could just, like, not play this week. <laughs> I really could. I really could just, like, be like, you know, like, I'll see. Oh, let's go play some Divinity shit. Uh, yeah. Some Divinity <laughs> oh, my I, oh, my God, dude. But now I have this. I have to be good, right? But, yeah. <laughs> Uh, feels bad for me, but you know, it's my fault. Anyways, there's more to talk about. <laughs> Dude, how much? Oh, there's only two left. There's, there's only two left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mythrax. Mythrax moving from plus one to uh, plus one, plus two for each minion to plus two, plus two for each minion. I personally didn't think it was that relevant, but shitty is like it is. And I, I remember that fight where you're like, oh, I was relevant that you had 21 attack. And I was like, yeah, okay. So maybe it is relevant. Well, I, I, I had a Mythrax earlier today. It was like, don't tell Collins, but I won the fight because my Mythrax had more damage. Okay, it's fine. Okay, it's relevant. And I, I can change my opinion. I can learn. I can admit uh, my uh, mistakes uh, and say, uh, you know uh, what? Uh, this was wrong. Let me delete my opinion and add a new one or, rem- or just not add an opinion at all. And say, so, yeah, okay, I guess it is relevant, right? Early, early game tempo having more attack is pretty, pretty relevant. Like once like three, four turns has passed and it's like, 30 attack, right? A lot. Well, in this meta, like, people can have so much attack and, and yeah, health, yeah. right? So it is probably... Especially with elementals, right? Like, just if you hit Nomis and stuff, it, it's it's a big deal whether the, the big elemental one-shots it or, or one-for-ones, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. pretty pretty good buff, honestly. I don't think this card was oppressive at all, so I don't mind the change. Yeah. No, I, it, for now, at least, you know, we'll have to see maybe if the meta slows down a bit with friend of a friend uh hopefully once patched or deleted maybe we'll be like oh wow tripling into fives is pretty insane now right because you have all the good beasts and i do think stronger. tripling into five is good but it's not friend of a friend good unfortunately so <laughs> tripling a six is better so, but tripling a five in, would be good in terms of how you play are you are you trying to you know, are you doing everything you can for your discovery to be a six, or would you no, rather no, no. just be strong and legitimately? I'll tell you what I'll do, Don. But I'd, I'll tell you after the stream. Actually, I don't want. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll tell you after the stream <laughs> uh, so or something. The yeah. translation is: Collins saw me playing, and it just made him cringe at how I wasn't doing the things <laughs> he knows that I should be doing. He's like, ah, let me just teach you how to play this game, Shady, because this is just awful. It's, it's fine. I appreciate that. It's I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. All right, and then Nosy Looter. I actually thought this was a good change before I read Friend of a Friend, and I was like, oh, it doesn't matter, right? But before the night, I do think this is more like a, a zap that's um, a zap that can win you the game. And it still is a zap that wins you a game, but it's two turns, right? And you can just roll ten gold and hit friend of a friend. So like, why, why bother? But it is, it is better because its stat line is more contestable when you get it. So um, you might see some people play it, and 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 you probably will see people play it because you can get you can get a gold in front of a friend from this. So you know that wins you the lobby. This change reminds me so much of when they buffed Big Fernal. Where Big Fernal used to be a four-four, mm-hmm. right? And, and it, was, no it was not being played. Yeah, ever played it. <laughs> it was very, very uncommon, right? Maybe if you have like two Big Fernals and a Matron in the same shop, you're like, mm, maybe. Right, right, right. <laughs> but now, when they turn into six sixes, it's suddenly like, well, it's the best stat at minion, so I guess I'll just grab it. Right, and yeah. and the similar thing here, right? With Nosy Looter, sometimes you're just gonna look at the discoveries and be like, you know what, a nine-eight. I have an Eliza yeah. on my board. That's pretty good, actually, yeah. right? Well, if you have an Eliza on board, you definitely take it, right? Because it, it, well, yeah, it, it yeah, is yeah. a lot now of value. Now you definitely do. But before, I wouldn't always take oh, it. Oh, yeah, it. sure. Like, that's sometimes true. Sometimes you'd be like, yeah. I'm going to take the Faux Reaper. You know where I'm Yeah, that's true. Or buff it up, right? Um, or even an Imp Mama sometimes. You'd be like, I'll take the Mama. 
yeah. there but, there are some yeah. times where i'm just like so low and I, my my shops are bad and i'm just like i just need tempo i take a zap but it's like i want a zap right like it's yeah, like it's just the most tempo it's same 710, right? yeah. yeah absolutely yeah this is what it feels like to me where i'm just like yeah. oh I'm, it's just the most tempo and then sometimes in two turns i get a, a, another six okay yeah yeah, what, what, and this is this is how, and, and I do like that that is how they push cards that are somewhat unplayable. You just, you boost the stats and suddenly like, oh, it's playable. It's not so invasive either as to change the card completely or suddenly make a complete bullshit. Because I really liked that change they made for Big Fernal. Because Big Fernal, I feel, is a card that sees quite some play now where, you know, people triple into it, You especially if you have... Um, Icky Imp on the board. Yeah, Icky Imp's the, the, the nuts. Very, very playable. But if that was a 4-4, four, four, a lot of the time you'd shy away from it. Yeah, so I good. think these are the kind of changes that I love. Because they're, they're, they're very light. They're very simple. But they have the desired effects. They kind of nudge you in that direction. And it's like, mm, you know, okay. I guess I can play. It doesn't games. warp the whole game around it, huh? You yeah. like that, huh, Shady? I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a, a podcast. So. I'm, I'm just, I'm very, I'm very devoted <laughs> to what yeah, my goal. Yeah, so, so it makes you feel not depressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to go. Uh, but yeah. it, it's a good change, I think. It wasn't seeing play that much, and so... You, but the thing is, you can't like counteract a bad change with like ten good changes. It doesn't work, <laughs> you know. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do all this stuff, changes, and I'm like, these are good. And then like the, there's this big looming fireball okay, heading like, towards you. Have you. Sin, you're sin, yeah, yeah like, you're you sin, dude. Sin, yeah. <laughs> I agree, but uh, yeah, it's it's overall some stuff like uh, like ah, uh, a lot of it would be good, like you know, like overall. But then there's too there's too much things that i i can't you know I, it's, it's, it's a really exciting in in terms of the content of the patch super exciting i think that baby crush just being so bullshit in terms of tempo and friend of a friend being just bullshit in general if those two weren't in this patch would be like wow this patch is wild lots of crazy good changes new hero uh completely shaking up the game but not in a way that warps the whole game around one asset, uh, one particular thing, right? Where I just keep making a comparison because that's what Doomsayer Meta was. Doomsayer Meta was get a Doomsayer or die, right? And and a lot of this feels get brand friend of a friend or die, right? And so you have one goal and you just push towards that goal, and that's that's never a good state of the meta. Whatever that's the yeah. way how you play. Not the biggest fan of it. I believe in Blizzard personally that they'll make changes quickly before the tournament and then you know I won't be crying during the tournament. I, I I mean honestly, like I'm not this isn't to be like full disclosure, this isn't a bad meta for me. Just looking at the changes, like this is a type of gameplay I do already. So I just do it more, right? But it, it I just know it's not healthy and it won't be fun and it won't be it won't showcase skill in, in the way that I think tournaments should, I guess. I guess it's more like you've optimized a certain routine to get the desired result, but it's not sort of the beauty, right? The it's not beauty. Should. Yeah. I, I used to, like early, early battlegrounds, I always thought there was a way to win. Like, uh, no matter the situation, like if I knew all my opponents running this, I could figure out a board that could deal with it. I don't really feel that case anymore where I'm just like, I auto lose to some things, you know, and the buddies have kind of made it worse. Not kind. They've definitely made it worse where like people just have things that aren't even available to you as a player. Now it is because a friend of a friend, but I've played that for one day. So I'm not even going to address even before this, this patch, right? There's just some things that some heroes could do with their buddies where it's like, I can't do that. I can't counter that as a, as a lonely, what's a tier five hero? As a lonely Drek'dar. I can't counter this, you know? Like, it's just not available to me. You know, the opponent has, you know, this random free brand, free Flurgo, just like a free George. You know, I just can't counter this. So that's, that's the one sad thing I think about the meta overall, where there's just things or 
sports states that other heroes can do that I can't contest with. It, there's not a way to deal with it, right? My Exner was kind of like an equalizer because like everyone could get a My Exner Reborn and like Selfless, Selfless Baron, My Exner Reborn and the Malgadon. You could like beat almost a lot of other boards, right? Unless you're like playing Gallywigs or some patches nonsense, right? Where they can't, they just have cleaves with Divine Shield too that you can't beat or Ticketus, whatever. But like, there was a lot of ways to equalize it because you had that Reborn Maxa to kind of like deal with the Amalgadons. The one thing about Amalgadons which are super annoying is there's only seven in the pool. So the player that's likely to get the first one also gets the second and the third and the fourth one. So yeah. they take four and then there's like three left and then the rest of the seven players have to get the, the three. All right? And there's a lot of times they just take all seven and then you're just like... You know. it's, it's almost where you get to think how you want to use chef right do you want to go slow and increase the chance that you get you know your five amalgadons or do you just want to buy them all and deny the other people oh right? i'm i am the buy them all deny that's how i yeah play. right yeah. that's the thing yeah. because sometimes you might purposefully not chef the amalgadon on your board just to grab them out of the pool yeah i i i like because if your opponent only has access to do like the seven or opponents only have access to two Amalgadons, it's like, how you beating me? <laughs> how you beating me? Like, I, don't well, I guess there's always ways where you can copy off the opponents. Yeah, board but, but you see, that's awesome. with friend of a friend, it changes the numbers. Like I've seen so many boards where it's like, they have six golden Amalgadons, you have six golden Amalgadons. How many Amalgadons well, is that? I think a lot of those boards involve thieves, right? Where yes, but like stuff. every, every, I mean, if you're rolling dragons are in right like that that also just puts mirrors on in like we haven't talked about mirrors on in this meta but it's actually quite yeah. brusted now to to you know to steal all the amalgadons and the brands and stuff like that too so it's just like crazy how strong people can do and how many you can steal like stealing is very common right now which is very weird right considering there's only two heroes that steal but the amount of boards that are, people are just stealing off of other people's boards and like oh yeah you have them out on there i have them out when too. you have bran right if you're really incentivized to run bran even in a non-murloc lobby you're buying every Murazon to see yeah. and that just increases the volume of of nonsense yeah, yeah. The, yeah you can go up to like 14 15 yeah. in the game even though there's seven only <laughs> and they're golden <laughs> It's, so it's more it, it's more than game. 14. <laughs> yeah. If so, we were to, yeah, if we were to count each golden amalgadon as three, then yeah, you'd have like 20 plus amalgadons sometimes. So pretty crazy patch, pretty crazy meta. Overall, I don't like it. I have good, like I, I overall this is a thumbs down for me. I probably the first thumbs down for patch, but I know I'm very biased because I have a tournament in two weeks, and I don't know like oh this is not going to be a healthy tournament if they can if if this patch is the patch we're playing, you know th thumbs down like there, there needs to be changes. So hopefully there there will be some, but um you know I'm gonna have to deal with it right like I, I like I don't have good news. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play on this and try to abuse it the best of my ability. So, uh, side end the end the topics, I, I would say. But uh, any any final words before we get on? on this? this is a long one. This reminds me of Quobor, but it is it is on that level of a uh, Quobor. Yeah, it's, it's very very impactful. No, I mean overall, I think it was a very long but also fun podcast and. It would be more fun, of course. Fun for who? I do not have another. I, I feel like for the <laughs> listeners, they're gonna have a good time. Even though they're gonna they're gonna look at it, they're like, "What the hell? This thing is ginormous!" Like, yeah, we're gonna, you know, this is this is for my long drive. You know, <laughs> like, or I'm gonna have to do this in two times. Uh, but no, I mean, yeah, obviously, we hope that a uh, friend of a friend gets addressed. Deleted? As as no, oh, I'm not. Okay. I'm gonna clarify you every time. <laughs> Deleted. I'll be like, um, I demand a public apology from the person that made friend of a friend as well. As I wouldn't mind that. I actually, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Either way, um, yeah. Let's let's hope that gets fixed, and then of course, right? Want to make sure. Well, we'll have one more podcast before you uh, embark on your lobby legends. Uh, Hopefully yeah. that'll be a fun podcast when like they delete first topic, they remove yeah. friend of a friend. That's I'm gonna make it now. 
I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, just do the vibe, right? Yeah, just have it and then have the champagne and be ready and yeah. be like, okay, let's let's pop this thing. You rem- you 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 remember when they deleted uh, MC Tech? Yes. Ah, yes. Ah, <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> that took several years. It though. did. Let's, it, uh, let, let's speed that up. I agree. <laughs> oh man all right see you guys thanks for tuning in as always yeah i'll see you next time yeah thank you guys blah 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 you can find us wherever we'll see you guys tomorrow or or whatever and uh hope you guys had enjoyed the stream enjoyed the podcast and all that good stuff and we'll see you guys tomorrow